Hello, 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 everybody. Oh, we have another event. I'm so excited, y'all. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, no, that is the question of the day, isn't it? What, what mess have I gotten myself into now? Um, here's the thing. This event is extremely exciting because we have not spent very much time at all in Shanghai Jing. Um, we had the one event with Shun and Kokona and Saya, um, but that didn't really give us a look at like how Shanghai Jing works, especially uh, politically. So I am very, very excited that we are finally going to, I don't know, like take a look and see the inner workings of Shanghai Jing together and um, probably also have to resolve some sort of mess here, so. <laughs> I know it's really late for some of you. My apologies. Thank you for coming and hanging out. And please do not feel bad whatsoever if you have to tune into the VOD. That is completely okay. Y'all are always, always okay to just watch the VODs. I don't want y'all to compromise sleep. Oh gosh. But yeah, no, I'm very excited for this. Some some more meat on the Shanghai Jing lore. It's extremely exciting. <sighs> it's gonna be good. We've got some really exciting, like, characters as well that have only been hinted at before, um, which is super, super cool. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. Oh my god, thank you for the gifted memberships! <laughs> Good God, y'all are very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, some of y'all got Mina so quickly. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, no worries, y'all. Seriously, no worries. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Uh, if y'all have to dip out early, if y'all show up late, no worries whatsoever. Um, I would say if y'all are interested in pulling for these characters, um, so Rumi is a very good healer. Um, she's a good on-field AoE healer. Um, she chucks healing to one character and then it bounces to the others that are nearby. Um, which is pretty good. <laughs> That's very good. Um, Nina is more of like, uh, and she's like a debuff, um, stacking attack character. Um, her EX skill will throw a debuff on whatever it is that she's targeting so that they have lower attack. Um, Mina is really good if you pair her with other characters that stack buffs or debuffs on things. Um, so yeah. <laughs> It's very good. And no, 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 y'all are totally fine. Please, please don't apologize for being late. Y'all are totally fine. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Um, oh my gosh. And thank y'all for reminding me. I did indeed do a Spotify wrapped. I will post that um, on Twitter in the Discord. <laughs> there were some songs that I listened to a lot this year. Uh, happy December 1st as well for some of you. Um, I guess it's, it's technically December 2nd today. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's the final month of the year. Uh, that's kind of wild. <laughs> it feels like that happened really fast. So look forward to a lot of really fun stuff this month. Um, we're going to hop right into the story here, but I've got some stuff at the end I'll talk about as far as like upcoming streams for the month and things to look forward to. So yeah, it's going to be good. I know this year did completely fly. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I cannot believe it's December. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, let's hop into this, y'all. I'm going to actually remember to do the prologue this time. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's hop into it. Oh, God. Shanghai Jing lore. Let's do it, y'all. Everyone, get, get your drinks. Make sure you've got some water or some tea or um, soda or whatever you have. Um, let's let's kick back. Let's jump into this and let's learn more about Shanghai Jing. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. Welcome, guest. Joyful hospitality. I was working on my usual office work at Chalet when... Oh, a phone call? Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> Anytime someone is calling, there's something that's wrong. Okay, who is it? That's my phone. He hello? Oh! 
Hello, is this the number for Yumi Sensei with Shali? Y yes. <laughs> M may I ask who's calling? <laughs> the other option. You've re you've reached the voice mailbox of. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend not to be here. I'm gonna... <laughs> yes, may I ask who's calling? I'm sorry for calling you out of the blue like this when we haven't even met. I'm Akeshiro Rumi, and I'm the president of the Black Tortoise Promenade. Oh, let's go! <laughs> There was part of me that wanted to embrace the troll there and say I was just a, a you've reached my voicemail. But no, we, this is Rumi. So um, yeah, we're gonna hop more into this here, but the Black Tortoise Promenade is a very um, powerful cooking guild, essentially. <laughs> uh, they're a very powerful um, group from Shanghai Jing that specializes in cooking. And this is the president, let's go. Hi, Rumi. How can I help you today? I have a, <laughs> let's say, a request or a commission. The Black Tortoise Promenade needs your help. When you put it like that, it sounds official and serious and a little scary. <laughs> Well, now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I suppose it is official, and it is fairly serious, <laughs> to an extent, and scary. Well, it is scary. Fine, <laughs> you got it all right. Do you have some kind of psychic power? <laughs> Are you a mind reader? God, that would be that would be kind of incredible if I was. I don't have a halo, um, or rather, I do, but <laughs> not a meaningful one. Uh, within Kivotos, I I don't think I can read minds, but uh, I'm a little concerned about what this request is going to be. <laughs> um, listen, I wish I had psychic powers, but I'm just reading the room, Rumi. Is that so? Anyway, there's no need to worry about my request. It may be official, but the other words you used are exaggerations. Uh, sh sure, you, you say that now. <laughs> I want to invite you to come visit me at the Black Tortoise Promenade. I admit I'm curious to meet the famous sensei in person. An invitation to the Black Tortoise Promenade? How can I say no? And I can't wait to meet the famous President Rumi. Wonderful! It seems like we're on the same page. I look forward to seeing you, Sensei. You're not planning anything bad, right? <laughs> I haven't had too many invitations from Shan Haijing. There isn't anything sinister going on, is there? <laughs> if I am, what are you going to do? You'll trust your students until the end. And you'll give me a scolding if I do anything bad. Oh no, she knows me too well. <laughs> She's been doing her research. I see. <laughs> uh. Uh, listen, though, I will be upset if you do anything bad, okay? <laughs> please, please don't rely on the fact that I try to be a good person and try to help people as much as possible. <laughs> I'm feeling a little envious of your student sensei. What? Rumi? You're one of my students, too. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm also one of your students. The game knew. <laughs> yes, of course you're one of my students, Rumi. Like, what? What are you even talking about? Which unfortunately means that um, I, I don't don't pull any tricks on me, please. That I just will try to help you as much as possible. <laughs> 
you say such things so easily. I am at a loss for words. It's settled then. I promise to keep you safe until the request is done. You say these things pretty easily yourself. Sorry, I suppose. I guess I'm oblivious when it comes to these sorts of things. Please try not to be. <laughs> I've got to make some preparations. I'll see you at the Black Tortoise Promenade. Please look forward to it. I'll treat you to such delights you've never experienced before. Oh my gosh, y'all. Are we going to try some really good Shanghai Jing food? I'm, I'm very on board with this. <laughs> I also love how y'all are referring to Ruby as Bochi. <laughs> Fantastic. She does seem to have more uh, people skills, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> God. All right, y'all. I am prepared. Bochi the walk. <laughs> All right, Ruby, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to come and taste your very tasty Shanghai Jing food. I will, I will be there soon. Oh, a little later, I set out for the Black Tortoise Promenade in Shanghai Jing. Oh, at last. Oh, gosh, it's gorgeous. So this is the Black Tortoise Promenade. The stories don't do it justice. Oh, hello. Smells delicious, doesn't it? Go ahead, breathe it in. That one-of-a-kind, oily, savory smell. Oh, God, this is making... This, this event is going to make me hungry. <laughs> Um, huh? Who are you two? You're an outsider, right? Welcome to Shanghai Jing! This way, customer, to delicacies unlike anything you've ever tasted. Here, here, we have a seat for you at Bamboo Shoot Panda Diner. Our tofu soup is to die for. Our special golden sauce is made with pumpkin and mushrooms stewed in a pot with the tofu. Don't waste your time with tofu. The true pearl of the promenade is great mountain chicken. At our restaurant, we steam the chicken in a clay pot, then use its juices to make the best broth you've ever tasted. Oh God, my mouth is watering. <laughs> chicken is packed with flavor and the meat is tender and fragrant. It's a refreshing cleansing soup with the deep savor of chicken. Don't be ridiculous. You can get steamed chicken anywhere. I don't want to hear that from you, tofu monger. Our customer isn't some sheep happy to eat grass. Fresh vegetables calm the stomach and detoxify the blood. And you can't be happy without a full belly. The customer needs meat. Oh, God. <laughs> this is eating up already. Um, excuse me. What what are we talking about here? Also, thank y'all for clarifying that Bochi and Ruby share the same VA. That makes sense why she, she sounded somewhat familiar. Bochi the walk. All right, y'all. Um, excuse me. What? What are we talking about here? What? I, I love both of the things you've talked about. Um, can I have both of them, please? I'm glad you're both so proud of your restaurants, but this person is my guest. P -p -p President Rumi? <laughs> th th they're your guest? There you are, Rumi. The both of these people are making me so hungry. Welcome, Sensei. I'm sorry I didn't meet you at the gate. We could have avoided this trouble. We didn't mean to cause trouble. <laughs> We're terribly sorry. Have a nice day. <laughs> the only trouble that's caused is that I'm very hungry now. <laughs> I 
we've told them so many times to tone it down, but they don't listen. Hmm. You thought it was an impressive welcome. Oh, Sensei, the welcome hasn't even begun yet. I will show you what it means to be a guest at Black Tortoise Promenade. Without further ado, welcome to the Black Tortoise Promenade. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ruby. Oh, God. Ruby is cooking right now. <laughs> Dragon and tortoise, working together for a better future and lots of tasty food. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Mina is so cool. God. Yeah, say, I don't know. I'm a little concerned where, where this story is going to go, though. Um, <laughs> it seems like um, food politics and real politics are going to be... Uh, heating up here very soon <laughs> yeah i i apologize in advance i think we're all gonna be quite hungry um very quickly in this stream <laughs> <sighs> gonna have to have some snacks after this okay let's enter our first episode y'all oh god tasty food how was your buddha's temptation soup Shall we move on to the main course? Oh, that sounds so good! I've made happy family. It has dried sea cucumber, abalone, and conch, stir-fried with vegetables. You'll also find bits of pork and shrimp. Oh, <laughs> it's delicious! I've never had anything like it! Wonderful! As head chef, there's nothing I love more than hearing a customer enjoying their food. After you're done with that, the next course is a nice shrimp wonton soup. You mean there's more? <laughs> of course there's more! We've just started! After the main soup, there's also noodles and dessert. I've portioned out each course to get the most flavor out of each dish, so please enjoy. Um, <laughs> th thank you, Rumi. I I'm not sure if I can eat that month. That I, I don't know if I can eat all this food. Um, the stomach of an adult is no match for high schoolers. <laughs> oh God, that's a lot of food. Ah, uh, uh, is that so? In that case, I wish you good luck. Thank you, Rumi. I think I'm gonna need it. <gasps> oh my god, look how... God, I love these new character designs. Oh my god, she looks so damn cool. Oh, let's go, let's go. President, the soup's ready. Shall I bring it out? Not yet. Our guest, uh, Sensei, doesn't seem to be ready. But since you're here, why don't you say hello? Rejo works... Uh, Rejo here works hard to keep me safe. Oh, snap! A bodyguard? Ooh! The name's Rejo. Nice to meet you, Sensei. It's a pleasure, Ray. Did you... Call me Ray? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it seemed it seemed appropriate, but I I, I don't want to overstep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Intriguing. No one has called me that before. Ray, shall I call you that from now on too? <laughs> it is the new Rinny. God, she better be playable during the rerun of this event. Look how cool she is. Oh, Ray Chan. Please show mercy, President. <laughs> but, Sensei, I'm impressed. You threw me off balance with your opening move. In the movies, keeping your foe off balance is a fundamental skill in Kung Fu. It's nothing like that! I'm I'm just being friendly. I'm I'm not trying to challenge you to anything. 
Uh, no conflict here. Ah, using modesty to catch your opponent off guard. You know your stuff. That's enough, Rejo. You're making Sensei sweat. <laughs> did I did I say something wrong? <laughs> Don't pay her any mind. Rejo is as sharp as they come. Until you get her going on about kung fu. I will say I didn't mind seeing her put you on the spot. Um <laughs> I, I appreciate that, but it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm happy to talk about Kung Fu, but I, I think y'all wanted me to do something else here. Um, did you close the restaurant just to serve me today? I kind of expected it would be more crowded here, to tell the truth. Ah, uh, that's why I asked you here, actually. Perhaps you should see this for yourself. If anything happens, Rejo will keep you safe. I'll see to it, President. Oh, I don't like where this is going, y'all. Okay. Um, Rumi pointed behind her with her thumb. And then... Huh? You got a problem. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's rude to point. Don't you know we're customers? Black tortoise promenades. Customer service is the worst. This is why they got to resort to dirty business. Oh god, what's the Ken Ryuman doing here? <laughs> I get that they're from this district, but... Um, so, as you can see... Um... Who are they? They look like the Gen Ryuman uh, that we saw in the last event. <laughs> uh, am I am I correct? They're members of Gen Ryuman. They order a single plate of stir fried eggs, then loiter in the restaurant for hours. All of our other customers are scared off. Oh. I guess I can't blame them. <laughs> they are like essentially gangsters, right? Um, that's a little troublesome. And not to buy the stir fried eggs, of course. Our egg dishes are affordable, but as delicious as any delicacy. It's a beautiful thing. But you see how it's a problem for someone to take up a table after ordering just one thing. It's an obstruction of our business. Yeah, I could see why. <laughs> well, that's the whole reason they came here, isn't it? You can't ask them to leave? Um, <laughs> they're from Kenryuman. Maybe you don't know about the relationship between the Black Tortoise Promenade and Genryuman. I, um, based on that statement, take it that you don't get along very well. Um, I have heard some things, like nobody is willing to get between you two. In a nutshell, yes. The truth is a bit more complex, of course. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! This is the president of, of, yeah, I was going to say, ah, Gen Ryuman is basically the student council of Shanghai Jing. Ah, and this is the president of Shanghai Jing. Oh, snap. Let's go. Oh, my God. Are we going to learn more about her? Let's go. I'm so ready for this. Let's go. That's a little problematic, though, that, like, um, essentially a mob is in charge of Sean Haijing. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little terrifying. It's them. There's nothing more important than honor and tradition. Some might say they value tradition a little too much. 
They don't value tradition. They're obsessed with it. If they had their way, the Black Tortoise Promenade would be stuck making the exact same recipes for a thousand years. Oh god. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that would be bad. Um, Y'all should be able to innovate and like make different food. Ugh. Cooking must evolve. It must progress. If you always eat the same meal every day, is that really living? If they don't understand the work we do here at all, we're pushing the limits of cuisine itself. You uh, may want to lower your voice, Rejo. Hey, you guys talking about us? Oh no! <laughs> Just you wait, you tortoise punks. We'll bust you so hard your grandkids will be born in handcuffs. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I was uh, trying to avoid this. Genryuman has its reasons for putting so much effort into upholding tradition, but... Sometimes I wish they could be a little more flexible about it. You can't run a large organization well without a little flexibility, you know. I see. Uh, it is a little complicated, it looks like. Yes, this isn't something I can discuss openly, but I hear quite a bit of grumbling about how Genryuman runs things. And Ken Ryuman doesn't exactly look on us with kind eyes. But things have come to a head lately. Uh, there's this rumor, you see. Oh no. What, what kind of rumor? <laughs> there's a plant that only grows in Shanghai Jing. 10,000 year ginseng. Because it's so hard to grow, its distribution and use are strictly controlled, and export of the ginseng is forbidden. But rumor has it that the Black Tortoise Promenade has been smuggling 10,000-year ginseng off campus. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Um, that seems kind of rough. Y'all aren't actually doing that, are you? Ever since, we've had Genryuman members as regular customers while they investigate us. <sighs> and thanks to their charming attitudes, all of our actual customers have been frightened away. Yeah, that seems bad. <laughs> Call it a rumor all you want. You can't fool us. The Black Tortoise Brahminon thinks it can get away with anything. But you keep bringing in garbage from the outside. It'll catch up with you sooner or later. If you just followed Genryuman's rules to begin with, we wouldn't have to be here. Ugh. <laughs> All right, Joe, already explained this, but cooking that doesn't evolve is already dead. That's true of everything. We have to embrace new things as a society. Believe what you want. That doesn't mean you can just ignore Genryuman's orders. Hell, the Black Tortoise Promenade wouldn't exist without Genryuman. <sighs> fine, fine. Genryuman gives us so much. Can we move on now? Backing down already. <laughs> You're just as spineless as I thought. Good God, these people! Oh my God, they come in here. They scare away all the customers. They harass the staff. They make baseless accusations. What is this? This is terrible. <sighs> you won't blow us off so easily. We know you're hiding something. <sighs> if you say so, have a nice day. So, will you help us? I want to get to the bottom of these tensions between Genryuman and Black Tortoise Promenade. They come here and pick a fight 
and you call it tensions, we should be fighting back. Do keep your temper, Rajo. Lashing out will only make things harder for us in the long run. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I want to be able to fight back, but this does seem like a complicated situation here. Okay, you two are from Genryuman, right? Hmm. Who's asking? Don't think we'll go easy on you just because you're an adult. Maybe you're not from around here, but we all follow Shan Haijing's rules here. That includes you. And that means I'd be careful of the company you keep, stranger. You might get mistaken for an enemy of Genryuman. So, pick your friends wisely. <laughs> oh my god, these people! Watch your manners. This is the sensei from Shale. What? What? From Shale? Oh, jeez. What do we do? <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Coming in to sw uh, swoop in and um, remind people of who I am. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't want to cause a fight. I'd like to meet the leader of Genryuman. You want to meet President Kisaki? Even if you really are that sensei. Y yeah, not just anyone can get a meeting with the president. <laughs> Even us. Oh, God. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't realize this was a decision the two of you could make. What's that supposed to mean? I heard Shale was granted extrajudicial authority by the president of the General Student Council. And if Genryuman refused to meet with Sensei, I wonder what would happen. Why, if Kronos got, if Kronos got wind of this, it would be major news. Ah, oh, yeah, Rumi, let's go! <laughs> cook indeed oh god gosh i suppose that all kinds of reporters and investigators from the outside would come flooding into shanghai jing w wait <laughs> uh, hold on uh, let me think about this don't take too long a good businesswoman seizes on her ideas straight away on second thought Take your time. The Black Tortoise Promenade could make a fortune feeding all those outsiders. I should thank you for providing us with such a wonderful business opportunity. <laughs> oh my god, Ruby! F -f Fine! I'll pass on your message, but don't say I didn't warn you. That's all I ever wanted. Thank you. Ugh, this isn't over. Black Tortoise Promenade! Oh, God. Alright. Alright, y'all. We're gonna get a meeting with Kisaki that's good! The sensei used soft power to use those punks' power against them. I need to take notes. <laughs> oh my god, I love Ray. Oh my god, that's fantastic! Instead of violence, we 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 tried to uh, compromise and, and discuss things instead. This is fantastic. <laughs> Come back to us, Rejo. Not everything is kung fu. <laughs> Ultimately, the students who were sabotaging our business are gone. Thank you, Sensei. While I did enjoy watching our Genryuman friends twist in the wind, I assume you have a plan? You... don't? You're just going to go there and talk things out? Oh, goodness. That's rather simplistic. <laughs> I like it. Shall we head out, Rejo? Are you sure this is a good idea? 
Yes. Besides, I have something to say to Kisaki as well. All right. Everyone, let's all go together. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. I will do my best. Understood. I'll do everything in my power to keep Sensei safe. Marvelous. Thank you. But we haven't finished our meal. Reijo, bring out the shrimp wonton soup, if you will. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right back with the next course, Sensei. <laughs> More food until I literally just can't anymore. <laughs> I only hope my stomach survives. Don't force yourself. You can leave anything you can't finish. There's nothing wrong with having plenty of leftovers, after all. <laughs> oh, God. I guess that's fair. I'm just going to be eating Sean Hyjing for a week. <laughs> oh, that's fine by me, though. It all sounds really tasty. <laughs> all right, give me a second, y'all. I'm going to have a drink of my tea, and then we're going to hop into the next part. I'm a little nervous about meeting... Uh, with Genryuman. I feel like maybe, maybe we'll be able to talk some sense into them, but I also feel like they're going to be really stubborn, so. <sighs> yeah, no, her star eyes expression is so good. <laughs> but yes, everyone, tea, water, snacks, break. Uh, just for a minute, and then we're going to hop back into this. Tea check indeed. <laughs> oh man, I hope everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have some fears. Okay. All right, everyone. Indeed, it's time to meet the mafia. Oh god. Okay. I'm sure everything is gonna be fine. All right. This is the place. Yes, Rikagaku, where Genryuman is headquartered. It's been a long time since I was last here, <laughs> but uh, not much has changed. Uh, things are about to get noisy. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> Who goes there? Stop right there. We're President Rumi and Reijo from the Black Tortoise Promenade. We brought the sensei from Shale. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Can, can we see Kisaki? A sensei was hoping to see Kisaki. I'm sure that can be arranged, right? You're in no position to make demands, tortoise. B but th th this is that sensei? <laughs> Not brave enough to come here without Sensei to hide behind. Is that it? <laughs> I suppose we aren't when you put it like that. So, what of it? Are you going to deny Sensei's request? God, Rumi over here playing some 4D chess. <laughs> Think of the headlines, President. Sean Haijing's Gen Ryuman kicks Shale's Sensei to the curb. Genryuman would be famous throughout all of Kivotos. Uh, is that a good thing? Or I'm assuming it's not that they want to remain secretive. <laughs> Beats me. <laughs> but, but you're the one who said it. <laughs> oh, that was my line. I'm supposed to be playing straight man to Reijo here. <laughs> said that Rumi was playing 4D chess, but I do appreciate her honesty and like, no, oh, whoops, I missed my cue. <laughs> this, this isn't a comedy routine. Anyway, please let your president know that I'm here. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait right here. I'll pass your message along. I 
say that went well. Yeah, Sensei knows how to get their way. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the compliment. Um, things certainly are interesting here in Shanghai Jing. You get used to it. You have to <laughs> if you want to run a business. Yeah, I can only imagine. Good God. <laughs> oh God, we're we're inside their base. Okay. How are you doing so far, Sensei? Um, this is a little more cloak and dagger than I'm used to. It feels like I've stepped into a mafia movie. <laughs> You're not too far off on that. Kisaki, she really hasn't changed. Oh, sensing some history there. The president is coming. The president is coming. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, uh, she's kind of intimidating. Hi, Kisaki. I've heard stories about you, Sensei. It's good to finally meet you. If only the circumstances were different. Ah, um, what should I call you? Just Kisaki? Kisaki-san? Watch your mouth. I don't care if you're with Shale. Yeah, mind your manners. Enough. Sensei has come far to meet us. We can make allowances. Y yes, for president. Please forgive us for going above our stations. They say that the Sensei of Shale is a loose cannon, a conniving mastermind. Oh god, who is saying that? Uh, my reputation has become distorted. A, a conniving mastermind? Uh, I don't know if I should be flattered by that. <laughs> it crushes anything, anything that stands in their way. Who the heck told you that? <laughs> what? Don't worry. Now that we've met, it's clear those stories were exaggerations. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. She's just looked at us and decided that uh, uh, we don't actually look all that smart. That's great. <laughs> you look like the sort of person who's constantly being tricked into doing the work of others. I, I think I liked it better when you thought I was a mastermind. <laughs> Perhaps I'm mistaken. One can never tell what's going on inside someone's mind. I look forward to learning what sort of person you truly are. Uh, okay. Allow me to introduce my executive officer, Mina. She spearheads Gen Ryuman's operations and acts as my personal guard. Um, nice to meet you, Mina. Uh, oh god, the tension! Perhaps we should continue to the topic at hand. You're here about the 10,000 year ginseng that's being smuggled outside of Shanghai Jing. Um, yes, we are. The Black Tortoise Promenade was accused but I was wondering if you had any actual evidence. Show them. Oh no. Okay. This is... Oh, it's ginseng. Oh no! Wait! Is that a black tortoise logo on the box? <gasps> oh no! 
You recognize this, of course. It, yes, all of the Black Tortoise Promenade's cooking ingredients are shipped in boxes like this. President, you asked to see the evidence. I am more than happy to provide it. The 10,000 year ginseng is rare, even in Shanghai Jing. Nobody can harvest it without our, without our permission. For a rare specialty such as this to be shipped outside of Shanghai Jing without our express approval. Unthinkable. Gen Ryuman cannot let this go unpunished. The Black Tortoise Promenade must answer for it. Ah, uh, but what if someone framed us? No, it's their word against ours. Like, does it have a return address? Can we see who sent it? Do we know who shipped it? How did you all even get a hold of it? L listen, and I'm not trying to brag, but nothing happens in the Black Tortoise Promenade without my knowing of it. And I have not heard a whisper of anyone doing anything with 10,000 year ginseng. I swear to you, if anyone in the promenade was doing anything illegal, I'd round them up and turn them in myself. Is that all you have to say for yourself? What a shame. Genryuman has presented concrete evidence. In return, all you have provided are empty words. To be fair, you're kind of putting them on the spot here, Kisaki. You have a point, but maybe you could give them some time. Haven't we heard enough, President? Yeah, the Black Tortoise Promenade is already infamous for spitting on tradition with their cooking. There's no doubt they were using the 10,000 year ginseng in their dishes. They're a threat to our very way of life. They don't have values like we do. This is totally something they do. Get on your knees and beg for mercy, Black Tortoise Promenade. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone, everyone calm down right now. <laughs> let's, let's all take a breath here. This is, we are escalating things a little bit. <laughs> I won't deny that our approach to cooking can be unconventional, but you can't find success without taking a few risks. If you never go outside of the lines, you'll end up a dullard who can't think for herself. Enough. I will not brook needless mockery here. We have made our accusation against the Black Tortoise Promenade. It is only fair that I hear their appeal. Oh good, okay. Okay, Kisaki's willing to be reasonable. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just have to find evidence that, that they weren't involved. You're being too forgiving, President. We know they did it. They smuggled the 10,000 year ginseng. Every student of Shanghai Zheng may speak freely here so long as it does not harm our academy. But the Black Tortoise Promenade is harming Shanghai Jing right now. There is a difference between thoughtless mockery and actual harm. We can't ignore the evidence against your organization, President Rumi. <laughs> know that we are watching you. However, it does not make sense to ask you to prove your innocence without giving you time to build your case. So, I will give the Black Tortoise Promenade a short grace period. If you can find evidence to convince me of your innocence, I will reconsider the sanctions against you. Keep one thing in mind. If the situation grows worse, Gen Ryuman will not hesitate to terminate business for the Black Tortoise Promenade. That is the will of Ryuga Kisaki. President, 
of Genryuman. Not so fast, President. This isn't fair. Enough, Reijo. No matter what we say, those are boxes from the Black Tortoise Promenade. We both know the promenade is innocent, so we'll simply have to prove it by catching the real culprit. Would that work for you, President Kisaki? I have no objection, President Rumi. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We just have to prove our innocence. <laughs> okay, y'all. Where should we start? First things first, we need more information about 10,000 year ginseng. Stop right there, tortoise. Oi, what are you doing here, junior officer? Are, are they gonna pick a fight with us, even after everything that happened? Good God. <laughs> yeah, I was ready. I was ready for detective time. Are we gonna actually have to fight now? Sensei, behind me. You've got another thing coming if you think we'll let you walk away. President Kisaki is too forgiving. But there's no way. I'm letting our top suspect just waltz on out of here. I'm placing you under arrest while we look for more solid evidence. Oi! Oi, oi, oi! What is this? What is this? No! No, no, no! No, no, no! Kisaki! Oh my god, these people! <laughs> these people! That sounds like pretty shaky grounds for making an arrest. I don't need any grounds to take care of criminals like you. Everyone, attack! God damn, <laughs> really now? Stay low, Sensei. Sensei, is it true that you're a tactical genius who always leads their students to victory? Oh gosh, Rumi, you flatter me. <laughs> I, I, I do my best. I do my best. I try to capitalize on the strengths of all of the students. Um, tactical genius is, is uh, very humbling, though. <laughs> Who keeps telling these stories about me? <laughs> it's funny how the strangest rumors swirl around you when you're in a position of power. Rumors or not, I look forward to seeing what you can do, Sensei. All right, I'll try not to let you down. <laughs> okay, let's get our Shanghai Jing crew together. And we got some Gehenna students as well. Yeah, I will take the compliment. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, I know, time to have our overleveled students just make our way through this. <laughs> Let's go. Oh god. Oh, um, well, well, my entirely two powerful students are, are taking their time here. Um something I should mention, the emulator that I use, it's called Moo Moo Player. Um, there's a couple of different emulators that folks like to use, like LD9 and Blue Stacks and things like that. I haven't had the best luck with some of those. Um I I got a lot of crashes when I was first trying those out. Um, whereas I haven't had the same issue with Moomoo Moo Player. Um, Moomoo Moo Player actually just released a new version. Uh, it's Moomoo Moo Player 12. Um, and they specifically advertise, like, in their fucking version material. Um, they, they explicitly advertise that, uh, it is good for Blue Archive. Also, apologies for my casual profanity there. <laughs> You can tell I'm a little, uh, I might need some more caffeine on that one. <laughs> I'm sure that will fly under YouTube's radar. <laughs> but, um, if y'all are interested in, like, trying it out, Moomoo Player 12, um, they advertise that, like, they have pictures of Blue Archive running on it, and I have heard that, um, it is just fantastic. I actually have not, um... I haven't installed it myself because my uh, new PC is so beefy that uh, Moo Moo Player 11 runs just fine. <laughs> but um, if you don't have a monstrous PC like I do, um, which is very reasonable, 
Uh, Moo Moo Player 12 uh, apparently runs fantastically, so uh, not sponsored. I just figured I'd mention it because that update came out recently. <laughs> I'm sorry for throwing you all off. <laughs> it casual profanity. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I was going to say, for those of you who are members, um, I, I take full advantage of member streams to uh, just let loose with the profanity. <laughs> YouTube doesn't always like that when I do that, so I try to keep things relatively chill. Okay, anyway, uh, the not sponsored section. We're, we're getting back to the story. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no obligation to use that. I just figured I'd, I'd mention it as a thing um, for y'all. Well, uh, and we managed to get through that fight pretty easily. No, no way. Well, <laughs> this will be interesting. Kisaki didn't order you to arrest us, did she? You, you know nothing about our president. Well, it's true that she is pretty hard to read. But she doesn't come with a price tag, and I can't shake her to listen for what's inside. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Rumi, you have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> I'm just picturing Ruby just grabbing Kisaki and just being like, Oi! Tell me your secrets! <laughs> Absolutely amazing! Oh man, Ruby is savage. That's too funny. <laughs> but I still know her better than any of you. Watch your manners. You're the ones who should watch it. After what you've done, you're lucky we don't file a formal complaint with Genryuman. Like they'd listen to you criminals. Just you wait. You'll pay for this. Uh, I feel like it might be the other way around if you were acting without Kisaki's authority. Oh, God. <laughs> they certainly are fast runners. You don't want to follow them? We may have won this battle, but we shouldn't take any risks. This is Genryuman's territory, after all. Let's hope they don't bring any more of their friends. Actually, that would draw Kisaki's attention, so we should be safe. Okay. Man, it's kind of interesting seeing the political layout of Shan Haijing, because Kisaki does give some really big Hina vibes. like small but absolutely terrifying but it seems like Hina is able to instill like absolute respect amongst the prefect team like they just they're very good at following what she does whereas Kisaki I don't know I'm guessing that she's given the impression to the Genryuman that like they're mobsters and they can act with impunity maybe she hasn't explicitly said that but like I don't know Apparently she hasn't done a good enough job punishing that because ugh, it seems like that is a problem here. <laughs> ugh. Okay, y'all, what's our next move? I believe someone mentioned finding out more about 10,000 year ginseng. What about filing a complaint with Genryuman? Well... We can always see that later, if it comes to it. And my first priority is clearing the promenade's name. And there's only one place that can help us. All right, sounds good. <laughs> oh, you know what, actually, hey, hey. <laughs> I guess that, that is fair. Hina, Hina does inspire respect from her people, but you're, you're right. I guess it's maybe it's reversed then for Gehenna. Like the lower level prefect team members will follow like authority within the prefect team, but like the actual uh, higher ups in the prefect team, <laughs> Akko, um, <laughs> sometimes will act on their own. So, um, <laughs> very, very fair. Whereas the lower level um, mobsters and Genryuman seem to be acting on their own, which doesn't seem to be great. <laughs> oh man, where is my 
my bullet fried rice? That is such a great question. Um, it's actually somewhat early in the morning where I'm at. So um, I had a granola bar um, before the stream and I'm going to have some very tasty food afterwards because this event is making me extremely hungry. And yes, no, I ate. Rumi fed me entirely too many things when I first got here, so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, y'all. I guess we're. it's time to be detectives. We're going to try and figure out who on earth was uh, trying to trying to mail 10,000 year ginseng. I, I suspect someone tried to frame us. I wouldn't be surprised if the mobsters are behind this, but we're going to see. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to the Eastern Alchemy Society. Ah, it's been a little while since uh, uh, we've been here. Oh, no. Saya. And yes, y'all, I appreciate y'all avoiding any spoilers for this. I'm a little... Uh, nervous. Saya has a tendency to uh, love experimenting on people. I don't want to be a lab rat. Okay, this is what you had in mind, Rumi. <laughs> That's right, Sensei. I've never so much as touched 10,000 year ginseng. But someone in Shanghai Jing has. If anyone would know about it, it would be the medicine researchers at the Eastern Alchemy Society. I also considered checking with student athletes like martial artists and dancers, but they just chew up the ginseng without really understanding it, you see. Oh, so 10,000 year ginseng increases your combat power? Would that help my kung fu, do you think? <laughs> And, and nobody said it would work like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's just a very rare ingredient. <laughs> God, why is Ray fantastic? Please make her playable. Oh God, I want a rerun of this event so bad. Oh, I haven't even finished playing through it. But, but you just said martial artists like to chew on it. And please focus, Rejo. <laughs> No, no, Saya's here. I heard something was up, but a visit from the Black Tortoise Promenade and Sensei to boot. What's up? Um, listen, Saya, no, no wild experiments, okay? We were hoping you could help us with something. N no, not happening. I'm sorry, Sensei, but go right back where you came from. If it was just you, I'd be up for anything. But I'm hearing rumors about your friends from the promenade here. There's trouble brewing between the Black Tortoise Promenade and Genryuman, and I want to stay out of it. The Eastern Alchemy Society is <laughs> already plenty busy researching the immortality elixir. <sighs> Will you please hear us out, Saya? Let's talk. We're all reasonable people. And I brought stir-fried knife-cut noodles with sautéed cheese meatballs to enjoy while we talk. Oh, Rumi knows what's up! Bribe her with noodles. <laughs> stir-fried knife-cut noodles and cheese meatballs? I've never heard of such a thing. The cheese crisps inside the meatballs, giving it a savory crunch, and the noodles soak up the sauce, and it's so chewy. <gasps> Imagine the harmony of the aromatic noodles and the savory cheese mixing on your tongue. It was the only recipe that survived a night of intense experimentation I could use your expert opinion, Saya. <coughs> well, since you need my expertise. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Rumi's so clever. 
ever hear using food to uh, get on people's good size. <laughs> so this is why we had to swing by the kitchen first. I understand now. <laughs> One never goes into battle without enough provisions. Well, I'd say that was a very smart decision. I'm also so hungry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why would you be interested in 10,000 year ginseng? The stuff's too much trouble. That's interesting, Saya. How so? How's it trouble? First off, it's almost impossible to cultivate. The plant likes it cool and humid, so it only grows high up the slopes of Kunlun Mountain. I might have pronounced that wrong. Kunlun, I think? Kunlun is what that should have been. Kunlun Mountain. And it takes at least six years, <laughs> it, usually ten, before it's mature enough to make into a medicine. Oh god, that's a really long time. <laughs> oh god. So I'm guessing there's not a lot of it. Even worse, if the plant is disturbed even a little, it goes into a hibernation stage. If you plant 100 seeds, you'll be lucky if even 10 sprout in your lifetime. Good God! That's a terrible return rate. That's horrible! <laughs> 100 seeds and 10? 10 of them if you're lucky? Good God! <laughs> What a diva of a plant indeed. <laughs> oh god. That sounds like a very tricky plant. And the taste. If you bite just the tip, it's so bitter it'll make your tongue go numb for 10 minutes. Oh god. Good lord, is any of it tasty? You'd be crazy to want to cook with it. You're not kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm beginning to suspect that someone is trying to frame us, if that's the case. You've cooked with it before. I just tasted a small bit of it. There are some failures that you can see coming, even without experimenting. <laughs> you know, Rumi, Rumi went to extreme measures just to try how bitter this thing was. Oh god. Maybe so, but somehow I can never resist trying out a new recipe. But as they say, the best medicines are bitter, and 10,000 year ginseng is no exception. Once you go through all the steps of refining it, and there are a lot, it has some interesting effects. Interesting effects? <laughs> uh such as? It provides a, a temporary but intense increase to your ability to focus. Oh, it's like hyper-caffeine. <laughs> oh, it boosts your metabolism, which makes it attractive for dieters. And it acts as a stimulant, stopping you from feeling any fatigue at all. It even increases cognitive processing so much that you can see bullets flying at you. Surely that's an exaggeration. That's crazy. <laughs> oh no, it's true. This, oh no. Oh no. Poor sensei. Oh, we are just so busy all the time. I don't know though. This does sound a little intimidating. And apparently I can't take it back with me to Shale, so. <laughs> I'll just have to rely on tea and coffee, it looks like. <laughs> it can make you dodge bullets? Amazing! <laughs> hey, I, I never said anything about dodging bullets. You'll stand there thinking, oh, a bullet, I should dodge that. And then wham, the bullet hits you. <laughs> appreciate the honesty. You're like, oh wow, I can see the bullet coming towards me. Oh no, I've been shot. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Improved 
reaction time, tireless energy, and high metabolism. No, agreed, Joe. Uh, I, I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> you don't have to. You must get stronger the proper way. Otherwise, it's not in the spirit of Kung Fu. Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, Rumi does know what to say. Good God. <laughs> she knows what to say to get right into people's hearts. Oh my, oh my Lord. Yeah, of course. It's like you always say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. I understand, President. Then, would you? N no. Y you didn't hear what I was going to ask. I'm too busy with my cooking and my work as president to train in Kung Fu with you. <laughs> it's okay, Ray. Um, I'm not very in shape, but I'd be happy to like, I don't know, try to learn a couple things. I have some people uh, outside of Shanghai Jing who might be interested. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this ginseng sounds like it could be dangerous in the wrong hands. There's plenty of students who dream of getting their hands on the stuff to help with studying, exams, and so on. Oh no, the more they talk about this, the more this seems like Adderall. <laughs> uh, it, it's more than just uh, hyper-caffeine. It's, it's like actual like um, ADHD meds. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And here I thought they were after it for its uh, unique bitter flavor. <laughs> it's always about taste with you, huh? Well, at least you're consistent. Anyway, I don't get students like that. Just read the textbook before your exam and bam, aced. Well, sometimes it takes a lot of studying too. It's not that easy for most people, Saya. You're very smart and you're very good at tests too. Um, <laughs> Those skills don't always go hand in hand. Uh, most people have to study a lot. <laughs> it, really? Uh, for me, it's always been enough to brush up on my reading the day before. Oh God, Saya. <laughs> I always get a perfect score, except for when they sneak in trick questions, that is. It really, really isn't that easy for most people. You're the only person I know who can do that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, is that so? Huh. I guess I can understand why some students are after this ginseng in that case. Uh, maybe, but that doesn't make it okay. <laughs> you, you shouldn't take things that, uh, you, you don't need to take, you know? Okay, so here's what I don't get. Even if these students get the ginseng, who's got time to process it? You need to handle dangerous solvents in high temperatures, and a single mistake along the way ruins the batch. Detoxification, distillation, neutralization, separation, rapid cooling, extraction, and that's just off the top of my head. Man, this thing sounds like a nightmare to put together. <laughs> What? You need a professional lab to make anything useful. If there was anywhere other than the Eastern Alchemy Society with that kind of setup, I've, uh, I'd have heard about it. And if anyone was distributing all that equipment, my contacts would have informed me. Wow, um, you both know your stuff. <laughs> You can't turn on a Bunsen burner in Shanghai Jing without my knowing about it. <laughs> oh, God. By the way, Bunsen burners are like those very classic um, chemistry burners. Um, it's like what you would see in a chemistry lab. You turn on and then uh, you're able to do experiments with it. Not that all this knowledge is helping with the immortality elixir. Okay, okay, Saya, I'm glad we've returned to this. What? You're trying to make an immortality elixir? Um, well, is that a good idea? <laughs> is that really a good idea? I feel like, um, uh, 
that would lead to a lot of conflict with people trying to get a hold of that. Um, but anyway... Uh, you're still chasing after the immortality elixir, huh? Why are you so intent on creating it? I'm driven because it's impossible. That's right, impossible. Anything less than an impossible goal wouldn't be worth the challenge. You know, in some ways, I can understand that, Saya. That is something uh, <laughs> that only you would say. Any researcher, wor any researcher worth her salt has to aim as high as possible, no matter how difficult. And while I work towards this difficult and impossible thing, I'll naturally make lots of great discoveries on the way. Huh, that's downright inspiring, Saya. You have a broader vision than I realized. Don't get me wrong. Those discoveries are nice, but they're not the goal. Some scientists get sidelined by their unexpected results and forget what they're after. But not at the Eastern Alchemy Society. I won't allow it. You're doing good work, Saya. When you're not using random uh, people and actual rats as uh, lab rats. <laughs> c c compliment me all you want, Sensei, but I'm still not getting wrapped up in this. I don't know who's smuggling the 10,000 year ginseng or what it's being used for. Oh, actually, did you think of something? N no, I, I just had a thought. Nothing that concerns you. There was that one research project using a chemical from the 10,000 year ginseng to stimulate brain function. But that research is... Oh? You mentioned that 10,000 year ginseng only grows on Kunlun Mountain, didn't you? We should take a look there for ourselves. Thanks for the lead. The Eastern Alchemy Society has nothing to do with your investigation. I'll be sure to mention that to Genryuman when I see them. Oh god. I don't like where this is all going, y'all! Uh, okay. Time to go look uh, for the actual plants, I guess. I guess we'll see if we can find any evidence there of people digging them up. Okay, time to start the mission. Yeah, I know, this is starting to get suspicious. <laughs> Pulling a purple in your first ten is the only brain stimulant I need. <laughs> amen, amen to that. Oh, I'm excited to see more of uh, the scenery here. Are you all right, Sensei? <laughs> Just as I was talking about being out of shape, we're trying to climb a mountain. <sighs> I'm no spring chicken. Slow down, you kids. I'm too out of shape for this. S Sensei, when all this is over, do you want to do kung fu training with me? <laughs> I might need to, Ray. <sighs> In Sensei's case, that might not be a bad idea. Oh god, what brought this on? Is it because I'm so out of shape? Is it because I'm dying? I can't catch my breath? In everything you do, stamina and endurance are key. That's true, even in cooking. And I think it's the same with your work, Sensei. It sounds like you just want to whip me into shape. <laughs> that too. No, I don't want to exercise. <laughs> oh man, too real though. <laughs> God, these mountains in the background are gorgeous. Ugh. Can we can we focus on them instead? In, instead of how um, out of shape I am. Act before you think, or you will surely lose. That describes you perfectly. See, you've already got the kung fu spirit in you. 
This is getting interesting. I should have brought Tang Hulu and Oolong. Tang Hulu? I'm not familiar with that. Sorry, y'all. We're doing a quick Google search. <laughs> Tang Hulu food. Oh, it's the sugar coated fruits. God, those look so good. Oh, oh, some oolong tea and some sugar coated fruits. It looks like a lot of times they're on skewers because they have to be dipped in a sugar syrup. Okay, caramelized fruit. Oh my God, that sounds so good. <laughs> oh God, that sounds so good. Okay. Oh man. Oh, I've learned something new today. I want to try this food now. I need to try all of this. Okay, I appreciate y'all trying to help me, but I'm not doing this for your entertainment. <laughs> They're just laughing at how out of shape I am. Yeah, it's like um smaller fruit. Oh God, <gasps> Mina? God, the, the entrance music was fantastic. You're late, Black Tortoise Promenade. You're... Allow me to introduce myself formally. I am Konoe Mina, Executive Officer of Genryuman. You're Keisaki's right-hand girl. I take it she actually sent you this time. <laughs> Perhaps criminals can't resist turn criminals can't resist returning to the scene of the crime. I knew you'd show up eventually. Oh no. Listen, we're just trying to gather evidence. Again, with the baseless accusations, you Gen Ryuman members are too much. No, the signs are there. I'm sure of your guilt now, beyond a doubt. Maybe you think you're sure, but I say you're being careless. I never take so much as a careless step. Maybe other students can afford to be, but not Genryuman. You're pretty cocky, you know that. <laughs> it's diligence, not cockiness. It's high time I close this case for good. It's been a tough road getting to the bottom of this, but this deepest road is the most satisfying. Oh God. Um. <laughs> oh my God! She just set a meal ticket on fire. D what? Mina, don't burn a precious meal ticket. What are you doing? <laughs> don't worry, Sensei. It's a fake. <laughs> it would have been cooler if I had a real cigarette. <laughs> okay, Mina, I know that you're like our enemy here, but... <laughs> this is absolutely hysterical. Okay. <laughs> and no, it wouldn't. Smoking isn't cool. Holy based, fantastic sensei. That set, uh, smoking uh, is very bad for your lungs. Very, very bad for your lungs. It can be a very difficult habit to break. Don't, don't start. <laughs> and none of this vaping stuff either. That isn't much better. It still has addictive stuff in it. And you don't know what they're jamming in there. No. No, she wants to fight. She wants to throw down, I see. <laughs> All right, if it's a fight you want, Mina, it's a fight you'll get. <sighs> so Mina is a role player. Man, she does seem to uh, really want to um, lean into being a cool gangster. <laughs> yeah, real talk, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm going to get on a soapbox while we're cruising through this um, encounter. Be very cautious. I know that vaping isn't like producing smoke, but it's not well regulated. Like it's one of those things that's very new and like uh, doesn't have a lot of good regulations around it. Um, there have been times where there's all sorts of additives inside of it um, that are really bad. 
it's like really bad for you to put inside, not to mention like breathing. So please be careful. Then if some of you like do smoke or do vape, I don't want this to be a judgment on you for doing that. Just know that like, if you have the opportunity to start like weaning yourself off of it, your health is gonna be much better in the, the long run. Um, you can recover pretty well from that. But yeah, I also understand it's very addictive and it's very difficult to get off of, so. Ugh. Yeah, vaping is like, it, it produces like a vapor or something, but like, it's it's not good. <laughs> they put all sorts of bad stuff in that that you should not um, be consuming. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now <laughs> as we return to Mina, but. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mina. My team was just very high powered. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Mom Yumi mode. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, be careful, y'all. Uh, oh dear, I didn't want to resort to force, but there may be no avoiding it. So, can we talk this out now? Yes, please, Mina. <laughs> Fight, please. I must learn from my mistakes or I'll never move forward. If I don't move forward, I can't grow. <laughs> it's not an indignity unless you let it be. We were not born simply to die. Mina, <laughs> this face is amazing. Oh my God. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, this, this, this beautiful person just wants to be cool so badly. <laughs> She's speaking nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be real. I, I didn't catch all that. Hmm. <laughs> Now I staked this place out after I heard you were meeting with the Eastern Alchemy Society. I was curious if the society would come here with you, or if you'd come alone. Is the Eastern Alchemy Society on your suspect list? They deal in medicines. It's only natural they'd reach out to the Black Tortoise Promenade to get their hands on special ingredients. That's some imagination you've got there. It's deduction, not imagination. <laughs> Listen, Mina, you talk like you're from an old noir film. Um, <laughs> you fancy yourself as a quite the hard-boiled detective, huh? <laughs> I'm glad somebody noticed. You can relax with us. There's no need to play it cool. <laughs> I'm not playing anything. I already am cool. <laughs> She's an idiot. This seems like... <laughs> If the Eastern Alchemy Society is so suspicious, why haven't you been hassling them too? I don't have proof against them. On the other hand, we have that box from your promenade. <laughs> and now the culprits have returned to the scene of the crime. You may as well, you may as well have written a confession. The only thing left to decide is what to do about you, Sensei. You're jumping to conclusions. How could we have harvested ginseng from the sacred mountain without Genryuma noticing in the first place? Man, the the more the more they talk about this, the more I'm convinced that we are being framed. <laughs> oh God, that's easy. Everyone knows the Black Tortoise Promenade will resort to any and every dirty trick in the book. Bribery, coercion, nighttime sneakery. There are too many ways to list. Listen, just oh, just because Rumi is very good at um gaining allies through food. <laughs> 
I guess that's a type of bribery and coercion, but like, listen, I think you all have more to answer for here. I'm sure you know all about that sort of thing. Please use your brain if you have one. You keep saying that criminals always return to the scene of the crime. Well, you returned here too, didn't you? It seems to me that Genryuman is behind this, and you're trying to pin it on us. Oh god! How dare you! But it makes sense though, right? Who else but Genryuman could secretly smuggle the ginseng from here? Then you frame the Black Tortoise Promenade and get rid of us once and for all. You're, you're ignoring the biggest smoking gun of them all. 10,000 year ginseng was found in one of your boxes. <laughs> the Black Tortoise Promenade makes deliveries all over Shanghai Zheng. And maybe you forgot, but Gedlin Ryuman basically runs everything in Shanghai Zheng. It would have been a piece of cake for you to get your hands on a few misplaced promenade boxes. God, no, we're cooking with we're cooking with gas now. Nonsense. Your nonsense. <laughs> hmm. If I may set aside my title of president and offer an outside perspective. The Black Tortoise Promenade and Genryuman watch every move the other makes, right? I'm not sure how one could smuggle anything without the other noticing. You're right, Rumi. Someone would have witnessed something by now. Huh? Sensei, you aren't taking their side, are you? Sensei, you can't honestly believe Genryuman is innocent. Listen, Ray, I, I've had my suspicions too, but Rumi makes a fairly good point. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not trying to take sides. I'm just uh, trying to explain some issues with your theories. Poor Sensei, getting dragged into your bickering. Honestly, you're like two peas in a pod and you don't even realize it. <laughs> like to hear that okay y'all are there any other groups anyone who's independent from both the black tortoise promenade and genryuman now, there's no such organization in shanghai jing sensei genryuman influences everything that happens here if i had to pick a group i'd say the black tortoise promenade a good thinking. It's another piece of evidence proving the Black Tortoise Promenade's guilt. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, Sensei. Nice assist. <laughs> Are you seriously bragging that your club sticks its nose in everyone's business? That's embarrassing. I I is that what you meant? S sensei, did you trick me? Are, Are you an enemy after all? <laughs> no! <laughs> No, I'm not an enemy! <laughs> You're misunderstanding me! But, but, fine. I'll believe you for now. It's a good question. An organization not influenced by either of our groups. Oh? Oh. I can think of one. Rumi! President, you know the answer? Hmm. What club is that? N no, it it couldn't be. If that place is somehow involved, then Shanghai Jing is in a worse state than I thought. Mumbling to yourself and withholding details is not appropriate in a school setting. Share with the class. <laughs> huh? S Sensei, are you educating me? Actually, I just wanted you to spill the beans. <laughs> Share with us all what you have figured out. Sensei. I'm here for you, President. If it's hard to say it out loud, just whisper it into my ear. <laughs> Ray is such a good person. 
What are you blabbing about? Spit it out, or I'll show you how we make people talk in Genryuman. <clears throat> I realized that there is one group. They're a group that nobody would ever think of. And none of us even considered them. The fact that you still don't know who I'm talking about just proves it. Why, their very name is synonymous with innocence. Wait. So, who are you talking about? <laughs> Shan Hai Jing's Disciplinary Support Department, the Plum Blossom Garden. Wait, what? What? The elementary school? What? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. I need you to explain, Rumi. What? Excuse me? I... What on earth could they want with ginseng? You're not saying that Shun is smuggling it because she's so exhausted. <laughs> what? what? I... <laughs> uh, excuse me? Um, you're gonna need to explain what's going on here. What? What is... what is happening? Why would they be involved? I don't understand. <laughs> Coconut, explain what's going on. <laughs> 72, 53, 81, 48. Phew, all done with grading. I could use a stretch. Gosh, I wish the kids would study more. I didn't even make the test that hard this time, but there are still kids who will need to do makeup work. I just know Shun is going to bother me again about the difficulty of these tests. Um... Kokona? Can you explain why you might be involved in this? <laughs> you know, that's a fair point. One of those kids made a 48 on that test. <laughs> Good day, little instructor. It's been a while. President Rumi? Uh, but, uh, little instructor, I do have a name, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, little Kokona, how have you been? <laughs> oh god, that's her way to get on her bad side immediately. <laughs> little Kokona isn't any better. But I'm mature, I can let it go. Been good. Teaching the kids sure keeps me busy. That's great, Kokona. Just great. Let us know if you need anything at all, okay? No, oh, I love how everyone dotes on her. I hope we're not bothering you while you're busy, Instructor Kokona. Oh, n n no, it's, it's no bother. You're all welcome. It's, um, it's so unusual to see people from the Black Tortoise Promenade and Genryuman together. Uh, so, about that. I'm glad you mentioned it. You stay clear of these bad girls. They spit on tradition and they're always up to trouble. I'd avoid these bullies if you want. They close themselves off from the world, then pick on anyone who doesn't do the same. That's enough out of you. At least I have values. Don't tell me what to do, Genryuman. This isn't your turf. <laughs> oh, poor Kokoda. She's just caught between this. Uh, all this squabbling is giving her a panic attack, y'all. <sighs> Thanks, Sensei. Nice save. <laughs> So, do we actually have a reason for this visit, Kokona? Has, um, anyone asked you to move any strange boxes lately, Kokona? S strange boxes? I, I don't think so. 
But oh, um, actually... Got a hit, huh? Yes, a student did ask me to deliver a box of black tortoise promenade to someone outside the academy. Oh. Oh, no! 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 She's just admitting it! No! What is going on? What is going on? Why did a student tell you to do that? No! What is happening? Of course, it was from the Black Tortoise Promenade. Stop jumping to conclusions. Instructor Coconut, what did the student look like? I, uh, I didn't get a good look. <laughs> I, I think she was sick because she was wearing a mask. So, she hid her identity. An obvious Black Tortoise Promenade trick. Oh, and why is that? And the Black Tortoise Promenade will do anything to get their hands on ingredients, right? Uh, well, I, I can't deny that. But if one of our members was doing something so illegal that she had to hide her face, I'd have heard about it. Now that's interesting. Not Rumi, but you. Well, <laughs> Rejo does take, uh... Take care of a good amount of our on-the-ground work, let's say. She hasn't missed anything yet. I can vouch for her. Oh, and the students of the Plum Blossom Garden have been asked to do some weird errands lately. The, the students? Oh! Interesting. So is Kokona saying that someone who might not necessarily be a Plum Blossom student, someone who might actually be, like, from Shanghai Jing's secondary, might have given her the package, but then the, the children are being asked to do suspicious errands? Who is the mastermind behind this? What is going on? You, you mean the, the kids? Please explain. Um, so we often have the kids do little deliveries and other errands for other students. It's good real world training. But lately, we've been getting requests to deliver things to people on the outside. Oh, someone is taking advantage of Plum Blossom Garden. Interesting. I'm still not gonna, um, I, it still could be someone within, like, the instructors who could be doing this, but maybe someone's taking advantage of Plum Blossom to deliver stuff. Oh, God, that's terrible! <laughs> that's absolutely terrible! You, you didn't accept these requests, did you? Um, yeah. It, it didn't sound dangerous, and, and the students asking for help said they'd keep our kids safe. I went with them once too, just to be sure. Everything seemed okay. Anyway, who in Kivotos would dare mess with the students of Plum Blossom Garden? Oh, Kokona. Despicable. Huh? D did you say something? Don't worry about it. Thanks for your time today, Instructor Kokona. Sensei? Ah, right. Thank you for your time, Kokona. You have helped us so much. Okay. Okay. Someone is taking advantage of Plum Blossom. Huh? What? what? You're, you're leaving already? I'm sorry, Kokona. I promise I'll explain what's going on, but we have to, we have to get ahead of this. Oh, God! Good thinking, Reijo. This isn't something we want to talk about in front of others and the kids. I just... I want to protect them from the look on Officer Mina's face. <laughs> Using innocent kids like that. Do they have no shame? I will find them. I will crush them with all the might of Genryuman if I have to. Hell yeah, Mina. Um, that being said, 
Take some breaths. It's okay. We're all in this together. You expect me to just let this go, Sensei. None of us are suggesting that, but let's think for a moment. It would be nice if we could gather up all of Gen Ryuman's might, as you put it. But as far as I know, even Kisaki can't do that. What do you know about the president? Let's just say she and I know just as much about each other as we should. What does that mean? <laughs> they have a bit of a history, apparently. Whatever we do next, we should make sure we catch the ones who are actually responsible. Good point, Sensei. It's pretty common for lower ranked members to get all the blame and responsibility in big organizations. I've even seen it happen at the Black Tortoise Promenade. That's because you give your underlings too much freedom. Excuse me? Um, you're one to talk, Mina. Do you know what some of your underlings were doing? <laughs> do, you, do you know what they did to us when we tried to leave from the Genryuman base the other day? Excuse me? There must be strict rules that every member of the group follows. No exceptions. Yeah, rules so strict you can't adapt with the times. When life throws us curveballs, our members have enough flexibility to react. And what do you call tricking those poor kids at Plum Blossom Garden? Being flexible. Get it through your thick skull. We had nothing to do with this. And you still don't have any concrete evidence anyway. That's why we should be working together to gather evidence and find the real culprit. We're also angry that the Plum Blossom Garden was dragged into this, you know. And what will you do when I prove that the Black Tortoise Promenade was behind this after all? I'll take personal responsibility. Close the promenade, scatter our members, whatever you want. Oh, snap! P president Don't worry. Even if we lose everything, we can always start again. God, Rumi! That's, that's the right amount of, like, taking responsibility, but God, I hope it doesn't come to that. Ugh! Besides, I don't think Genryuman will be moved by anything less than absolute conviction. So, Sensei, what's our next move? Man, that's a great question. <laughs> I think it is time for us to set a little trap for whoever is trying to go and use these kids to smuggle goods. A trap? Indeed. Let's let's lure them out into the open. And then we'll take care of them from there. <laughs> okay, y'all. Time to up the ante with our detective game. Let's do this. Okay, y'all. Everybody, it's time to have drinks again. Get your tea. Get your water. <laughs> oh no! Deku! Oh god, I hope that we're not using the children as bait. Oh god! We'll try to come up with a different way. Um, we'll try to figure this out. Okay, everyone get yourself some drinks. Um, we're gonna have a quick hydration check and then we're gonna hop into the rest of this here. Good tea. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. That's honestly a really scary thought. What if they do try to take the kids as hostages once we try to lure them out? Oh God, I hope they don't do that. We gotta save these kids, y'all. Okay, if we play our cards right, maybe, maybe everything will be fine. Maybe no hostages will be taken. 
fingers crossed. <sighs> I'm glad y'all are drinking your tea, your drinks, your fried rice, all excellent things. <laughs> oh God. Okay, y'all, let's do this. Man, y'all are right. These Girl Scout cookie deliveries are getting out of hand. <laughs> okay, time to figure out who the hell is behind this. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <sighs> Sensei, I wanted to thank you for bringing our instructor friend up to speed. Well, it was my idea. It's only fair I explain it to her. Mm. Do you believe in a greater good, Sensei? Like, is it okay to sacrifice other people in the name of a cause? The ends justify the means? No! Not at all. I I don't know how I'd answer that myself. Gen Ryuman are true believers to their core. Mina volunteering for her role in this trap makes sense given her background. You seem like a pretty seasoned person. I take it you prefer the lesser okay to the greater good. <laughs> Sensei, the things you say sometimes. Somehow, I ended up in the president's seat, but I'm still a cook at heart. If I could, I'd just cook all day without worrying about investigations or academy politics. Food is honest. The more you work at it, the better it tastes. The more you learn, the more possibilities open up. And then you serve the dishes you poured your heart into and your customers give their compliments to the chef. That's what lies at the heart of a cook, basically. And what about the heart of a president? I'm sure you know this better than I do, but being in charge, it's a burden. Oh God, yeah. My decision, my every decision, affects so many students. I'm not any better than them, not in any way. But those students, I'm the only person they can lean on. I understand that feeling perfectly. Groups are so annoying. They aren't a person, but sometimes they act like they are. Disappointment, anger, sometimes they even hate. And I have to appease them and calm them down and then make it seem like nothing happened and it was no big deal. When I somehow manage to do it all, I guess that's the rewarding part of being president. But it's more like I've smoothed things over this time, but We'll see how it goes next time. Rumi! You know, this is why you have people you can lean on, so it doesn't ever feel like you're completely alone. It is a lot of responsibility to be in charge of things, but like, you have people that you can lean on for help. So, rewarding isn't even the right word, is it? <laughs> it's more like a fleeting sense of relief. That's very insightful of you, Rumi. N no, it's not. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you one of those people always complimenting others, tricking them into giving you things? Oi! <laughs> no, I understand where your suspicion comes from, but I just genuinely want to help. I'm on to your game, Sensei. Although, it is an effective strategy. <laughs> just. Don't overdo it. You could get into a whole lot of trouble that way. Oh, oh, Rumi. Don't even know the half of it. <laughs> I I have a bad tendency to, to help, um, even when the stakes are a little crazy. <laughs> you have first-hand experience with that too, huh? Uh, well, <laughs> no comment. What's with the look? Everyone's got a secret or two. But this really is strange. I've never told anyone that before. It's a teacher's job to listen to their students. 
Sensei. The Sensei. If you say it like that, you might give me the wrong impression. Anyway, it's time. I should meet with our instructor friend. Man, Rumi, you are so, so determined to not accept my help. To not... <laughs> I am here to help you. Good God. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Please keep our instructor friend safe, Rumi. <laughs> Don't worry. The fate of the promenade rests on this. No one will so much as touch a hair on her head. Goodness, this sure is a lot of trouble just to deliver a box. But everything comes down to that box, doesn't it? Yes, yes, I'll be back soon. Oh God, the plan, the plan is launching into motion. I was joined by again Ryuman student with a mysterious air about her. How, um, how can I help you? Are you here for Mina? Where is everyone? Oh, here, there, about. Um, would you like me to take a message? Oh, I don't like this. N no. I just needed to ensure that we're alone. Oh, okay, why did you need to ensure that we're alone? Oh! Oh, snap! <laughs> it was Kisaki! That was a pretty impressive disguise that you had, Kisaki. <laughs> oh, snap! Um... How can I help you? Uh, it's harder to sneak out on my own than in the old days. Kisaki, what are you doing here? Oh, are you surprised? As the president of Genryuman, it's only natural that I'd want to check on things. Did I really have to come in person? <laughs> There are some things I can't see from the big seat. Everyone has their own perspective. If you forget that, you start missing things. So, how is it going? I want to hear your perspective. Oh, there's a lot, Kisaki. There's a lot that's been going on. I brought her up to speed on our investigation. Understood. I made the right call, putting Mina by your side. She may not seem it, but she's got drive. So, you did actually send her to meet us on Kunlun Mountain. <laughs> That's good to hear. Correct. She was there by my order. What if you four couldn't get along? I'd already worked it out. Mina is strong, but she can't beat two Black Tortoise Promenade members alone. And those two wouldn't seriously harm her in front of you. Mina and the Black Tortoise Promenade would have to form an uneasy alliance. With you, Sensei, holding the whole thing together. Was there an error in my prediction? No? No, you were pretty spot on. <laughs> You got it exactly right, Kisaki. That's pretty impressive. There's no need to compliment me. This is merely something I must do as the president of Genryuman. To be honest, it's a title I could do without. No, forget I said that. Oh, snap. Um, do I need to set up a meeting with you and Hina? The two of you can just, like, have some snacks and vent together? <laughs> You're not, um, <laughs> there's too much responsibility on you. <laughs> so, um, why did you want Mina in an alliance with the Promenade anyway? 
Some things are only clear when you see them up close. Mina is honorable and diligent, but she has a narrow perspective. If she could learn to be flexible, she'd see a much wider world. I think you understand me. You have an eye for character. Wow. That's actually really flattering, Kisaki. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually kind of think you and Hina might get along really well. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Thank you. Do you plan to stay in Shanghaijing after this is over? I wouldn't necessarily oppose it. Shale does need me, but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> That's a shame. Now, Rumi. She's one piece that I can't move about the board as I wish. I guess it should bother me, but I don't think she'd care much. And she wouldn't expect me to listen to what she has to say, either. From what I understand, the two of you have a history. We have a bothersome relationship. I considered working with her once, but there's no point talking about this. Forget I said anything. Oh my god. Um, I, <laughs> I would like to know more about that. Uh, I'm fascinated. I'm curious if maybe Kisaki had been interested in, like, being in charge of the Black Tortoise Promenade at some point. I wonder if Kisaki can cook at all, or if she's just good at administration. Well, either way, you've seen the situation for yourself now. What do you think, Kisaki? I'm not sure it's a good idea for me to tell you what I really think. Ugh, you think I ought to tell Rumi instead? <laughs> I don't generally like meddlers, but you, you're different, Sensei. The truth is, it doesn't really matter where you or what your investigation here turns up. Don't act so surprised. Situations like this are commonplace in my world. Oh? If the Black Tortoise Promenade is behind the smuggling, we shut them down for it. Easy. And if they're innocent, it's simple enough to frame them for this or something else and keep them in check. Either way, it works out for Genryumon. Excuse me, Kisaki! I thought we were on the same wavelength here! Oi! Oi! That may be how things work here, but... You're acting like this is set in stone. It seems like you don't like that. Why... Do you say that? If you did, you wouldn't have put on that disguise and come out all this way. Like, I get what you're saying. That like, yes, you could frame the Black Tortoise Promenade. But is that really what you want? <laughs> it's alright through me, Sensei. Gen Ryuman is Gen Ryuman. I may be president, but I can't change its nature. Does telling yourself that make you feel better? How's that? Do you talk to everyone like this? <laughs> or does that make you Shale's sensei? Did you make me mad? It takes more than that to shake the president of Genryuman. In fact... Whoa! Kisaki leaped onto my back without warning! Oh, Kisaki, I should warn you, I'm really out of shape. <laughs> Try to jump on my back. I don't I don't think that is going to work out well for you. I'm sorry, I'm not very strong. <laughs> there may be things only you can see with your perspective, but there are some things only I see as well. Oh my god! 
Kisaki is a lot more playful than I thought. I don't know, maybe her and Shun should get together. Christ. <laughs> it seems like both of them are really tired of the authority that they have. And they just want to be able to relax and, I don't know, just like be more childish in their lives. <laughs> She jumps onto my back and then immediately crack. Oh god, no. I'm throwing out my back again. It doesn't even matter if she doesn't weigh much. I'm just, I, I'm not strong. <laughs> so, this is Sensei's perspective. Listen, Keisaki. You don't really think Rumi is involved in this, do you? Rumi knows how to manage her risks. She would never put herself in the middle of such dangerous business. If the promenade is involved, it will be one of her lower ranked members. Someone below her notice. Someone who cares only about lining her own pocket. I completely agree. I don't think Rumi or any of the higher ups are involved. If the black tortoise promenade is involved at all. I have a request for you, Sensei. Protect Rumi and take care of Mina and Reijo while you're at it. At least until the truth is revealed. If the Black Tortoise Promenade really is at the center of this, I'll make Rumi answer for it myself. But until then, innocent girls shouldn't have to suffer for it. Man, Kisaki! For the head of the Mafia, you're surprisingly, um, I don't know, you care a lot about everyone's well-being. I should probably tell you some stuff about how your lower-ranked members are acting, though. We should probably talk about that. <laughs> Good God. Dang. They really require a lot of care. To think that even the president of Genryuman herself had to come out here. If I didn't know any better, Kisaki, I'd say you care about Rumi and the Black Tortoise Promenade. Maybe so. The Black Tortoise Promenade is Shanghai Jing. So is Genryuman. That's all I can say. Oh, I think, I think what I need to do is I need to organize, like, <laughs> I need to organize a meeting between, uh, we'll organize something between Hina and we'll organize something between Shun and Kisaki. <laughs> They'll all hang out together and they'll all just let off some steam and they'll all just have like a good time together. <laughs> it will be fine. Exactly. A group therapy session. Good God. Ugh. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, the 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 new makeup work club, the stressed out club. <laughs> oh God. Okay, let's start this mission. <laughs> Everybody comes, hangs out. They're just gonna have some snacks and just uh, let off some steam. Get to feel like students, get to have a good time. <sighs> okay, I think it might be time to launch our plan into action, y'all. Oh, let's go. Oh God. Oh, a broker. Oh God, the tension, y'all. Who is it going to be? Who's involved with this? A yellow crane leaves the road. It never returns. Were you followed? Not in Shanghai Jing, you? Nobody trailing me from the outside. Why did you call this meeting? We've got complaints about the latest delivery. 
What delivery? Don't play dumb with me. I'd hate for you to blow your chance to make this right. Does your monkey of the senses know you're trying to shake us down? Monkey of the senses? Oh? It seems to me that you're returning, that you are turning your back on us and the monkey of the senses. Nonsense. I've never once considered doing something like that. I've dealt with you honorably every step of the way. You know that better than anyone. I thought that was true. But your last shipment of 10,000 year ginseng contained nothing but carrots. Again, what delivery? I haven't sent you anything in a while. If, if you didn't send it, then, then who did? Finally, you listen to reason, but wait. If someone sent you... <laughs> Listen. Who's there? Two rats meet in the alley to conspire. No one to witness but the sky. Too bad for you, the sky told me everything. It, is that... I never wanted to be a hero, but duty... Duty demands I act, for I am a woman of action. Damn it! Run! What do you sing for? What do you live for? I, I don't understand what's happening. It isn't enough just to be alive. You've got to light that fire in your heart. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I am Konoe Mina, executive officer of Genryuman. Everyone freeze! Genryuman's here! There's nowhere to run, by the way. You're surrounded. No, no, give it a shot. I want to see you try. <laughs> of course, you'll have to get through me first. Black Tortoise Promenade and Genryuman working together? That's what I hate about criminals. No imagination. Now, reveal yourselves. Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, snap! It was someone from the Genryuman! What? Wait, you, you're... That uniform. Ah, uh, of course. These things do happen. I should apologize to little Kokona for making her deliver those carrots. Oh, they made Kokona do it! <laughs> so they could track down the people. Oh, man. Right. I feel bad for tricking her like that. We should apologize to Shun while we're at it. <laughs> I don't think she'll be happy about her little sister uh, going on a dangerous mission, but it's okay. We kept her safe. I... I know you. Why did you do this? Oh, snap! Answer me! I did it because of you, Konoe Mina! Wait, what?! <laughs> What do you mean you did it because of Mina? What? M me? I needed your position. And to get it, I needed money. Oh, of course. Trying to take her a uh, job from her, huh? What? Good God. I heard about someone outside Shanghai Jing who wanted to get their hands on some 10,000 year ginseng. They promised good money, and they were able to pay cash. It wasn't a bad trade, and it was easy to get some spare black tortoise promenade boxes. What? Why were you after my position? Also, for that matter, why why would why would having more money make it so you could take over Mina's position? Does the Genryuman run on who has the most money? Surely that's not a good system. <laughs> Surely this person is mistaken. You're the spearhead of Genryuman, executive officer, personal guard to the president. Ah, uh, you know what? Y'all are right. Maybe, 
Maybe she was trying to use it as a bribe? <laughs> That's one of the silliest things I've ever heard, though. Based on what we know about Kisaki, that would never happen. Maybe you're too dumb to realize it, but you're basically Genryuman's second-in-command. But you don't appreciate the president like I do. Oh. Her attention is wasted on you. I should be the one by her side. <laughs> oh, no. Is what I am learning that Kisaki is trying to actually run like a district, but everyone under her is so obsessed with the idea of being hard-boiled gangsters. <laughs> They're trying to impress her. Oh, God. That's no good. She's inspiring um, loyalty, but uh, the, the uh, consequences of that is that people are just trying to impress her too much. Well, she's an idiot. Uh, seems like. <laughs> God! You tricked those kids. You shook the very foundations of Shanghai Jing. Just for that? Just for that. That's the most important reason in the world. You don't understand the president at all. Even if she forgives you for this, I will not. What a load of nonsense. You really caused all this trouble for that? <laughs> now who is it? Smuggling, betrayal, and all kinds of crime. Well, I don't really care about that. I'm more interested in the mastermind behind this whole operation. It's me, Yakushi Saya, and in the name of the Eastern Alchemy Society, I want to say some stuff too. Oh my god, Saya! Saya! <laughs> Saya! What? What are you doing? What? Of course it's Saya. She throws morals to the wind. She she experiments freely on people and rats and all sorts of things. Come on, Saya! Come on now! Oh my god. Were you the one that told them to use the kids to ferry goods? But you're already in Shanghai Jing. Why did you do that? What? Well, well, well! Okay. The Eastern Alchemy Society. Did you invite all your friends, Tortoise? No, I had nothing to do with this. Don't underestimate the Society's information network. When it comes to the movement of experimental reagents, we're just as in the know as the Black Tortoise Promenade. R really? Yes, that's very nice of you. Thank you for all of your help. Goodbye! You won't brush me off so easily. If the mastermind is who I think it is. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Saya! Saya! You know what? I'm gonna put that on you, Saya. You, you may... Oh my god. That was my apologies. I misunderstood her. <laughs> Saya, you cannot start by being like, who's the mastermind? It's me! <laughs> Saya, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that squarely on you. I... Listen... I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to fully apologize. I still wouldn't put it past you to do that. <laughs> okay, okay. My apologies, Saya. Uh, you're not the mastermind. Um, I still am keeping an eye on you, though, because I don't want this incident to give you any ideas. No smuggling, okay? No smuggling in things, all right? <laughs> My apologies, Saya. Yeah, we need to... Uh, after this is all done, Saya, we need to work on your introductions. <laughs> you can't just start by saying it's me. Anyway, uh, please go on. Talk about the, the mastermind. She is a threat to all of Shanghai Jing, whoever this mastermind is. Yes, well... 
This, this is getting messy. We're fine. All we have to do is beat them up. Ugh. I guess we have no choice. Rachel, if you'd be so kind. Yes, President. I was hoping you'd give the order. In the name of Genryuan, I need answers. We await your commands, Sensei. All right. All right. <sighs> Violence it is. <laughs> oh, God. It's true. Mina and Ray finally get the chance to actually unleash. <laughs> They've been so patient. They've been waiting. Oh, God. <laughs> God, that's too funny. Hero was thinking that Saya was exposing herself as the mastermind, but no, she's just bad at speaking. <laughs> This is this is terrible. We can't give Saya any more any more ideas. She is not going to be using the kids to deliver things. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Extreme violence. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> okay. I can't believe Saya would be like, ah, the mastermind, it's me! <laughs> you know, that's true. If Saya experiments on the kids, Shun will actually kill her. That's good. That's good, at least. <laughs> God. Oh. At least so will Mina and everyone else at this point. Oh. Okay, I want to know who the mastermind is here. Are we going to find out more about who this this person using monkey as an alias is? I would be very fascinated. Sun Wukong character. I'm interested to see. Maybe it won't even be that. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Ah! Uh, with my overpowered team! Ah! Ugh! And they're down. <laughs> and they're down. Enemies neutralized. Oh. Oh. Your aim is terrible. How do you expect to protect your president like that? You may like hiding behind your guns, but you wouldn't last 10 seconds against me in a real fight. <laughs> your enemies won't wait to put down their weapons and duke it out. Life isn't a kung fu movie, kid. <laughs> I actually do like that Ray isn't very good with using a gun because she... <laughs> <laughs> she does kung fu most of the time. Oh god, I can't wait for when they make her a character. I hope that she actually uses kung fu. That'd be incredible. <laughs> huh. At least I don't think I'm some kind of noir gumshoe mafia detective. Uh. <laughs> Both of them could probably stand to watch a little less cinema, but I do think they would get along with each other. <laughs> I'm glad we're all basking in our victory here. Now, I believe the Eastern Alchemy Society had some questions for our criminal friends here. Yeah. Ahem. <laughs> all right. You two, who is buying all this 10,000 year ginseng? Oh. Oh. I, I can't say. I, I don't know. That is interesting. I don't feel like talking. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. It's Shintani Kai, right? Or does she call herself the monkey of the senses now? Shintani Kai? It is a new person. I don't, I don't think that name has ever been referenced before. At least from what I can remember. <sighs> Interesting, okay. How, how did you? Well, it was just a guess before, but now you've confirmed it. So, a monkey was behind all of us? <laughs> That's unexpected. Wait, wait, wait a second. This monkey of the senses, she isn't that Shintani Kai, is she? The, the former president of the Eastern Alchemy Society? <gasps> Oh no! A proto-Saya. <laughs> a 
a an even less restrained, even even more immoral Saya? What? Oh, I didn't think such a thing was possible. No oh, snap. At least someone gets what's going on. Right, X president of the Eastern Alchemy Society and one of the seven prisoners. <gasps> oh, snap! Oh, she's a big deal then. Oh, she's, oh no, she's a bad person. <laughs> I'm not saying that all the seven prisoners are bad people, but like, oh, snap. One of the seven prisoners? So we've got, uh, we know three of them at this point then. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. She got herself banned from Shanghai Jing for spreading illegal drugs and elixirs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, that, that would get her banned. Um, the seven prisoners, huh? Uh, then... Oh, I've heard of them. Seven terrible criminals who, uh, all managed to escape. And one of them was behind all this trouble. They're a bigger deal than I thought. Tell me everything! Who? What? Where? How? We... we... we, we don't really know. I'm just a go-between. We drop off the 10,000-year ginseng, pick up our pay, and leave. We shouldn't admit we know Kai, right? Of course not! If these girls think we're important, they'll never let us go. Hmm... <laughs> I say they're hiding something. Leave them to me. Genryuman will drag the truth out of them. Oh, no! <laughs> well. Well, well, well. Huh. It seems the Eastern Alchemy Society has a uh, checkered past. Everyone in Shanghai Zheng has a checkered past, including us. Come along, Reizhou. We should leave our Genryuman friend to her work. She's got more than her fair share of it. I'm sorry, but we do? Am I mistaken? Tracking down the 10,000 year ginseng, dealing with traitors, all of that. I, I, I know about that. <clears throat> That's basic. <laughs> it's fine, Nina. It's fine if you didn't think of that. So what will Gen Ryuman do now? Well, uh, first we have to round up all the stolen ginseng, if we can. And then, Genryuman style justice. Our prisoners have a long interrogation ahead of them. Oh god! Uh, okay, well, I wish you the best of luck. The sin of putting a stain on Genryuman's name is not taken lightly. <laughs> I'm glad you can laugh about this, but aren't you forgetting something? Huh? <laughs> it seems to me that you caught the culprit behind the ginseng smuggling, right? It, yes, this is an internal matter now, though, so... The Black Tortoise Promenade doesn't care about Genryuman's internal junk. But I care that Genryuman made our lives hell without any evidence we'd done anything wrong. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> oh, and you put it that way. I'd love to crash your place and just give you bad attitude all day. Give you a little taste of what you gave us. Oh, oh, oh listen, here again, Ryuman takes full responsibility and we will get to the bottom of... I don't care what Gen Ryuman's getting to the bottom of. Just remember that Genryuman owes the Black Tortoise Promenade a formal apology for everything you put us through. I, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, it's it's not something I can decide myself. Uh, but I I think it was wrong to accuse you without giving you a chance to defend yourselves. 
I, I will arrange for a formal apology right away. All's well that ends well. That's good. Good on you, Mina. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> what did you expect? You were pretty hard on her. Is this really enough for you, President? I really want to stick it to them after all that we've been through. I'm quite satisfied. It's enough that we've proven our innocence. And even if we give them a hard time, Genryuman is part of life here. If we play our cards right, maybe they'll let us run our business in peace. Shall we head back? Oh, and thanks again, Eastern Alchemy Society. Yeah, I've got to head back too. Better make sure the lab's ready for next time. It's good to be prepared, but don't forget to celebrate a little too. And thank you too, Sensei. I was just doing my job. Y'all did a very good job. Always so modest. When we get back, I'll reward you by letting you taste my latest experiment. Now, I can get on board with that, Rumi. Oh man, it, we've 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 been doing so much work. I think I think I'm ready for another gigantic meal. <laughs> huh? Uh, how is that a reward? D no, never mind. I almost said something I shouldn't. Oh no, Ray! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Is this bad? Oh no! Wait, wait. Are Rumi's experiments actually bad? <laughs> But she made such good food. Oh no. Oh, okay. I guess I'll be expanding my palate. I'll be learning about new cuisine. Oh God. <laughs> but most of her experiments taste strange, indescribable, extremely experimental. Well, I think that, um, the Gourmet Research Society is going to be making a trip here at some point. <laughs> Izumi has been summoned. The Black Tortoise Promenade's latest experiment. How exciting! Oh, wait, is that like those cheese meatballs with the knife cut noodles? I'm in! I, I should warn them, but my duty is to protect President Rumi. But... Sensei and Saya helped us so much. Uh, I don't know what to do. Spirit of Kung Fu, guide me. <laughs> Poor Ray. <laughs> she tries so hard. <gasps> oh! Are we gonna finally see what she looks like? Are we gonna see the third of the seven prisoners? Oh my god, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hmm. It won't be easy to get my hands on 10,000 year ginseng now. How did those kids manage this? Or was it because that sensei was there to help them? Little matter. I already gathered enough ginseng to finish my latest concoction. Still, I'm disappointed that I didn't get to collect more data. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, here it is, y'all. The third of the seven prisoners. The one who likes distributing illegal drugs. Oh, God. At least they're keeping me entertained. <laughs> I shall have to visit Shanghai Zheng myself next time. I look forward to meeting my underclassmen. And this... Sensei of theirs. Sensei, huh? <laughs> I'm actually excited to meet them. <laughs> oh, oh god. Why are all the seven prisoners coming for me? I don't I oh god! Uh, <laughs> Cruella DeVille is looking a bit different. She really is. She's also um, looking to make all kinds of questionable things. She's really looking to get into that illegal Adderall market, it looks like. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um. <laughs> I genuinely, genuinely did not expect that. 
I did not think we'd be meeting another seven prisoners so soon. I'm... <laughs> I'm a little scared. That I think they might all... Um, I I'm not sure if all of them will start being revealed, but... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, you know, there is some some similarity with Kayoko, just with like the black and white. Oh man, she's she's uh, a little terrifying. Learning that she's Saya's predecessor though is um <sighs> more immoral Saya is uh, never a good thing. <laughs> God. Okay, y'all. Um it's time to hop into the next part. I'm sure nothing can go wrong here. <laughs> Hanako is the final prisoner. <laughs> uh, well, how's it going, Genryuman? Um, nice to see you all here. How have you all been? And in summary, that's what happened. I hope you guys are giving the criminals we caught some of that Genryuman justice you love so much. It's all over then. We caught the real culprit. And the Black Tortoise Promenade's name has been cleared. Is that really all you have to say? I knew they'd do this, but it's still disappointing. Again, Ryuman did make accusations against the Black Tortoise Promenade without real evidence, right? Yeah, come on now, one person's wrongdoing doesn't make all of Gen Ryuman guilty. Why should we have to be responsible for the mistakes one member made? If we did that, Gen Ryuman wouldn't be able to get anything done. Goodness, they really don't get it. This just confirms everything bad I ever thought about Genryuman, and it's making me sad. Oh god, Ray! Oh no! The, the, the president is coming! The president is coming! Oh, Kisaki? Are, are you here to apologize? I thought I heard a ruckus out here. P -p president these rabble rousers are enough i already know everything P president kizaki are you going to apologize <laughs> oh she just bowed P president she she's bowing oh my. I hereby apologize on behalf of Genryuman for making baseless accusations against the Black Tortoise Promenade for insulting the Promenade's honor. And most of all, for disturbing the public order of Shanghai Jing and for being careless in my leadership. In the name of Genryuman, I promise to never allow this to happen again. That is the will of Ryuga Kisaki, president of Genryuman. But, but, pr president! Stay where you are. We, we were just... I said stay. Y yes president <laughs> That's good, right? Genryuman gave you an official apology. Um, wh why are you looking at me like that? Uh, I- I apologize too. Uh, this is more than fair. M mistakes happen during an investigation. Y you can't apologize to every daisy you crush under your heel. <laughs> I don't get it, President. Well, I do, somewhat. You're really happy with how things turned out? Not really, but also, yes? Nobody says what they mean anymore. <laughs> Not really, but yes. That's, that's fairly reasonable. A little unhappy that, um, more like 
<laughs> more people didn't immediately apologize and that maybe some like proper reparations weren't made but uh Kisaki formally apologized and promised that this wouldn't happen again so that's that's decent I think that's good well then I'd say that's enough serious talk for one year We've come to an understanding with Genryuman, and the Black Tortoise Promenade is free to open for business. After all, Genryuman only did what they had to as a student council. Um, understood. I'll follow your lead, President. That doesn't mean I'm satisfied, though. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll make you some tasty food if it will make you feel better. <laughs> Don't be so hasty to leave. I would like to make you an offer. What did you have in mind, Kisaki? This incident has put a cloud of gloom over Shanghai Zheng. And Gen Ryuman's got a responsibility to do something about it. Therefore, I'd like to hire the Black Tortoise Promenade. Oh snap, really? But president Don't cause trouble, Amina. The Black Tortoise Promenade is also part of Shan Hai Zheng. That... that is right. I yes, President. <laughs> so, what did you have in mind? I'm all ears. Don't sound so eager. You don't know what I'm about to ask of you. Anything is possible with the Black Tortoise Promenade, except for the impossible. <laughs> is that your guarantee? As long as the pay is good enough. Very well. I want you to host a party. The biggest party you've ever had. A party for every single student in Shanghai Jing and for Sensei. Ooh, I'm invited! I, I I appreciate that. You played a major role in resolving this issue, didn't you? I want you to see the welcoming side of Shanghai Zheng too. Oh, let's go! A celebratory party, let's go! I'm totally on board with this, let's go! A party for everyone in Shanghai Zheng and Sensei! Money is no object. Genryuman will pay for everything. Or perhaps it is impossible after all? Not at all. In fact, it sounds fun. It's been a while since I've had all promenade members in the kitchen at once. So, you can manage it? Of course. Every member of the promenade was a chef before they were a merchant. Oh, everyone is invited. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Unlimited roomy walks. <laughs> let's go. Oh my God, we actually get to go and have a celebratory party after everything. <gasps> this is fantastic. Everyone, everyone is invited to this party. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> We're actually gonna have a proper Shan Hai Xing celebration. This is fantastic. <laughs> let's go. Let's absolutely go, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited for the food. And so the case of the 10,000 year ginseng came to a close. Oh, I smell cooking. I, I hear it. Oh, oh. What, what in the world is this dish? Red winter style soup made with wild hunt style grape steamed meat. Try it. <gasps> Name drop for the wild hunt school. Oh God, I hope at some point we get to meet them. That would be so cool. Oh God, that sounds really tasty. Soup isn't supposed to be pink. It, is this even edible? Don't mind the color. It's sweet, sour, and savory. And the meat is super tender. Oh! Uh, I'm not so sure about all this foreign food. Hey, try it. Try the food. You'll enjoy it. It is fantastic. Oh, 
Just try it already. And then you've got to you've got to taste these Trinity style desserts. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Oh god. This has been such a great story. I'm so happy we've been able to play this, y'all. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Trinity style desserts. Did you know you can mix milk with tea? It's so good. That that's crazy. What why would you put milk in tea? Once you're used to it, you won't want to go back. Oh! Yes, it is time for gastronomic revolution. Oh, God. Oh, Shun. Oh, good. She can take some time off and enjoy the party. <laughs> Everyone, Gen Ryuman and the Black Tortoise Promenade came together to throw us a very special party today. Eat and play as much as you want, but remember to use your inside voices. Oh no, she's still, oh, she's still a teacher. <laughs> you know what? It's okay though. Everyone gets to hang out. They get to have fun. And with everyone here, they should be able to keep an eye on the kids. Oh God. <laughs> yes, Miss Jun. Be sure to thank them after you eat. A and don't forget to brush your teeth when you get home. You too, Kokona! Brush your teeth! <laughs> Here's the thing, brushing your teeth is good. This is smart. <laughs> it's not Kokona, it's Instructor Kokona! <laughs> Kokona, would you please keep an eye on the children for a moment? Uh-oh? Uh, are you going somewhere, Shun? <laughs> I'm having a little meeting with Sensei. <laughs> Shun! You make that sound so bad! Oh my god! Oh, Shun. <laughs> what? But, but I want to! But, but, but the kids! I'll remember this, Shun! Now I will get even! <laughs> Crappy god! <sighs> It's so noisy here. I want to get back to the Eastern Alchemy Society. I don't want to miss out on all this great food. What do I do? Oh, I got it. I'm such a genius. I'll make an elixir that clones me. Oh, two Sayas? I don't know that the world can handle that. <laughs> she already shows up in everyone's polls. I don't think we can handle more clones. <laughs> One copy of me can taste all the food, and the other can get back to my research. Hold on. All my equipment is back at the lab, so I'd have to go there to make the, elis the elixir. Ah, uh, what do I do? Uh, but this is so good. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, she is going to split via mitosis, and I don't think the world is ready for that. <laughs> This is quite the party, President Kisaki. Oh my god! Do we get a moment with, with Rumi and Kisaki alone? Oh, let's go! Is it everything you were hoping for? All that matters is that we have Harmony and Shan Haijing. Such a dour answer. But you can't hide that smile from me. How about you, Sensei? Everyone is having a great time. I'd call that a success. Do you think so? Maybe it's because of all this strange food. Frozen milk, condensed milk, grapes, and red bean paste. It's <laughs> an intriguing combination. Would you like another helping, President Kisaki? No, thank you. I want to try some of the others, too. I don't get this chance very often. <gasps> oh, this makes me so happy! She's actually willing to try out different things and, like, broaden her horizons? Oh, that's fantastic! You always pick at your food like a bird. I'm glad to see you eating up for once. Don't treat me like I'm your little sister. We've had this conversation before. Come now, we've certainly known each other long enough. Here, 
I want you to try this strawberry cream rice cake. Oh! Or would you like a fried cheese ball? Something more savory would be a good change of pace. Interesting. I'll try them all. Let's go! This is so wonderful! A single party wasn't enough to clear up the tension between these two clubs. But it was wonderful to see them set aside their differences and celebrate together for at least one day. Ah! Let's go! Oh my god! I did not expect us to get so much of the... Like, that was a ton of lore in one event! <laughs> Like, we've learned so much about Shan Haijing. We've learned a ton about uh, the Genryumon and how Kisaki tries to be a very capable, uh, if not overworked, leader. Um, but all of her subordinates are so desperate to impress her that, like, <laughs> they're just leaning way too much into trying to be mobsters. Rumi was fantastic. Getting to learn more about the Black Tortoise Promenade was fantastic. Also, I want Ray really bad. I, uh, God, we're gonna have to wait a little while for this event to come back around again. But but then at some point, Ray will actually be a playable character. And yes, most of all, most unexpected, the introduction of the third of the seven prisoners. Oh God, the story is heating up, y'all. This is great. Oh my God. I'm also starving. <laughs> made me so hungry. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, no, I agree. Kai was a little, um, terrifying. <laughs> like, um, Akira was really cool and interesting. Wakamo is, like, um, fiendishly terrifying, but she's on our side most of the time. I, I don't know where Kai is gonna be. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not alone and that you all have also been uh, hungry with all of the food talks. <laughs> oh my god, this event was fantastic! I did not expect so much lore from this. This was wonderful. You know, I I am tragically I'm I'm holding off on polls because I I have enough to guarantee these characters, but I I'm waiting. I've got to wait. There's some other characters I want to make some polls on. Um. And I don't have enough if I make pulls now, so I'm just really hoping that I spike them later. Um, Bear has infinite pulls, and so Bear picked up both Rumi and Mina, which is fantastic. <laughs> so uh, thankfully, uh, Bear's got them. Um, Bear's gonna have uh, a bunch of stuff um, over the next couple patches, so that's good. Um, but yeah, as far as the characters that I desperately, desperately want, I really want the Trinity swimsuit girls um, really bad. <laughs> like, they're really adorable, and, like, I need to make sure I've got stuff ready for when, um, Swimsuit Hanako shows up, but I'm hoping that I can pick up the Swimsuit SRT students as well, because, uh, they are also mad cute, and I want them very much, so, ugh. We're gonna have to hope for the best. Um, Bear is making all of the meta pulls, which is good, so Bear will be able to pick up uh, some characters that I won't be able to. Uh, but yeah, agreed. I've got to save up for some of these limited banners. So we're gonna see how this all goes. Oh, so no pulls today, but um, I'm gonna take us to the uh, recollection lobby here. I'm glad that y'all who made polls for Mina and Rumi were able to get the girls. That's absolutely wonderful. Oh, oh, and for those of you who whose birthdays are coming up, I know some of you had your birthdays soon as well. Happy birthday, everybody! Whether you're watching this right now or later, I hope that y'all have been having a great um, December, that birthdays go well for everyone. <laughs> You know, I think there was one other event that I didn't pull for on stream. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to think, because I have made a lot of pulls on streams, but unfortunately my, my funds are starting to get low and I need to make sure that I save up stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I figure um, we'll hang out here. Um, 
I'm gonna go pull up all the very kind super chats that y'all sent um, and then we'll read through those and I'll go over some of the things that are coming up next uh, for December because it's our last month of the year and we have a lot of things that are coming up. So um, yes, uh, for those of you who are curious, maybe I'll just go over that now. Um, so as you all know, um, there was a roadmap of all the things that are coming up, and in two weeks, we're going to have more main story that drops, and we're going to stream that together. So yeah, we're going to play through um, SRT. It's going to be the second part to that. I am actually, as we speak, uh, working on the SRT slash part of volume F, um, that next lore archive. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be done by the time that the SRT event happens. So if that doesn't happen, um, I'm trying to get everything finished as quickly as possible without, uh, you know, overworking. Um, I'm trying to be conscientious and not uh, pull super long hours and things. But I am trying to get that done so that that will be um, ready to go. Yeah, um, and very good question. So the plan when we play the main story, which will be our next Blue Archive stream, that will be in two weeks, we are going to play through the two epilogues that we haven't played through on stream, um, just to make sure we cover those. So we'll have the two epilogues to volume F, and then we're going to hop into uh, the main story for SRT. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff. But yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I appreciate y'all so much. I'm definitely trying not to stress myself out too much. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to guarantee that uh, SRT will be out before we do the stream, but I will try to get it out as soon as possible because it will cover a lot of things that are relevant to that part of the story. So yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm really excited for it. Um, it's actually been very fun finally getting to put another lore archive together. I was waiting because I wanted all of the epilogues to be out just in case there was any additional information that I could grab from those. Um, and now that that's good, I've been putting stuff together. So yeah. Oh man, that's a thing. Um, as far as lore videos for the events, I'm not entirely sure. What I'm doing in the interim is trying to stream them with you all because I think that that's just really fun to like go through stuff live and go through things. Um, but yeah, that's definitely like a longer term thing that I think would be fun. But uh, yeah, the lore archives are... Um, Let's just say they're uh, very work intensive. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of work that goes into researching and writing and filming and editing and putting it all together. So um, the fact that I've released as many lore archives, lore archives as I have, not to mention the student reviews, is crazy. So um, yeah, but y'all are very sweet. Thank you for asking about that. Um, in the, I think in the meantime, my plan is just to stream events because I think they're really fun that way. Like we get to experience them together and have a fun time. And then like even the main story beats that I stream, I'm still going to do lore archives on those. Um, but this way we can talk about stuff early and like you get to see my live reactions to stuff. So it will be really good. And yes, I'm so glad y'all are so sweet. Um, I'm very glad that y'all enjoy uh, lore archives and all these videos and streams. It's extremely fun to play this game. I am very obsessed with it, so. <laughs> it's very, very good. So yeah, um, look forward to that. In two weeks, we're gonna be having a uh, main story. Um, so from what I understand, based on the patch notes, it looks like it's the first part of what's going to be a two-parter. I don't know when the second part's coming out and I don't know when the swimsuit SRT is coming out. They made it seem like that's at the end of December. So we're gonna play it by ear. We're gonna try and figure out when um, to actually have a stream to do that, but we will be streaming all of the main story and then we'll also be streaming that event when it happens, so. Oh, system philosophy, that's so sweet. Yes, no, thankfully Bear is okay. I you all are so dang sweet. Thank you. Bear does work a lot. Um, he's got uh, the type of job he has. He's not exactly like on call, but like if things come up, 
um sometimes he will go and like help out with different things um there are times where uh his job gets really busy and he has to work a lot of overtime um but yeah y'all are very sweet bear is thankfully doing okay um oh my god that's very kind of y'all uh, but yeah, he's doing good. Thank you for asking. It's not 12 hour days. God knows um, I wouldn't put up with that. <laughs> I, I would be like, all right, we're finding you a new job. I can't, I can't see you suffer like this. Um, but yeah, his job definitely does keep him busy. So thank you for asking. Y'all are very sweet. Oh, but yeah, no, it's good. Oh God, y'all are so sweet. I'm so glad that my enthusiasm has been so good for y'all. It, I think it's good. It's, it's fantastic hanging out and playing this game with y'all. Um, I guess uh, I'll talk about some of the things that are coming up and then we'll hop into the super chats as well. So besides Blue Archive, this month, it's the last month of the year. It's almost the end of 2023. So I've got a lot of fun stuff planned. Um, look forward to, we're essentially gonna be revisiting some games that we haven't played in a little bit. Some games that we are actually pretty close to finishing. Um, one of the games I anticipate uh, we're not going to finish, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but a couple of indie games that have been super fun to play with y'all. It's going to be really good. Um, besides that, uh, I've also got um, some stuff planned for right before Christmas. And I've also got some stuff planned around New Year's. So look forward to that. Um, also, our members stream this month uh, is going to be the ultimate Yumi tier list stream. Um, one of the things I get requested to do the most are tier lists. I generally don't like doing tier lists because I don't like uh, ranking things in like A through um, F it makes me feel sad. Like, I don't want to have to do that. Um, but the time has come. There are some things that I would like to rank. <laughs> and so I have a bunch of tier lists that I'm going to be doing, some of them Blue Archive related, and we're going to do that during this month's member stream. So uh, look forward to that. <laughs> I've also got some other fun uh, surprises in store um, ahead of time of that. So it's going to be good. <laughs> You say that, but you put Hifumi in S tier every time. <sighs> Listen, I try not to play favorites, but Hifumi is really good. <laughs> so anyway, that's my my uh, mandatory, I guess, shilling for my own membership. <laughs> that's what's going to be happening this month. Um, we've got some other membership stuff that's going to be happening as well. So look forward to that. <laughs> It will be good. I will give uh, advance notice of when things are happening. Uh, we might have two membership streams this month, though. So anyway, uh, that should be fun. Look forward to that. Uh, it's it's going to be good. Um, and besides that, uh, yeah, just look forward to a lot of really fun indie games, more Blue Archive stuff this month. And then I am working on Lower Archive and trying to um, get that finished as soon as possible for y'all. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> Time for the only factually correct tier list. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, thank you all. Um, Let me really quick. I'm going to go pull up. Um, you all are very kind and sent in some super chats. I'm going to read those. And then... And then that's that's it for today, which is crazy. Oh, God. Um, Also, I should mention, uh, it has come to my attention that I am approaching 10K subscribers. That's kind of insane. Uh, thank you all. Um, good God. Uh, yeah. Um, if I hit 10K, I'm going to have some stuff. The <laughs> I'm going to have some stuff I'm going to work on. So it's going to be good. It's going to be very good. Y'all are very kind. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And yes, Gabriel, fantastic question. Um, there is going to be a Christmas tradition stream exactly like the Moon Festival. So it'll be available for everyone. Um, I'll talk about Christmas traditions and some of my favorites that I think will be fun to share with you all. I think it'll be perfect for like getting into the Christmas mood and checking out some fun stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, y'all, I've got, I've got all the super chats. Let's go through these. Oh my God, you all sent a bunch. Thank you. Good God. Thank you. Oh, thank you, young Thor, for the super chat. K 
continues drawing Slavic dancing Snick. Oh my God. Hey y'all. Um, oh, this is actually a perfect segue. So uh, for those of you who aren't aware, I do have a Discord server. It's very nice. Everyone's very sweet. Um, we have uh, some very nice blue archive channels. We have a bunch of Star Rail stuff and other gaming and anime things. Um, but some folks are also very kind and they draw fan art for me. Um, and Jan Thor has been drawing an extremely, extremely adorable Slavic version, like of of me in gorgeous traditional attire. It's really, really pretty. Um, they've been showing their progress on the Discord server. So yeah, um, the link for that is in my channel's description for anyone who's interested. But thank you for taking the time to draw me. <laughs> Y'all are so kind. It's so absurdly sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Gabriel, for the super chat. I love Rumi. She's almost one-to-one -one like Sensei. God. God, that's true. Oh my god. That That is actually... Here's the thing. Maybe that's why they're on the same wavelength with each other. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Yumi dropped an F-bomb. Yeah, that kind of just slipped out. Um, <laughs> that's actually kind of how I talk normally. I try very hard not to do that on YouTube streams, um, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes uh, big old YouTube son doesn't like that. So <laughs> I try to reserve that for member streams as much as possible. But you know, y'all got a little bonus today, so <laughs> thank you for the super chat. <laughs> and thank you again. I'm going to read um, Alex. Oh my god. Thank you for the super chats. Good god. Y'all are so kind. Thank you, TJ, for the super chat. My cat heard you call her name and ran out my room looking for who said it. She's very confused right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> I'm very sorry to your cat, TJ. Um, uh, it's, it's always rough <laughs> when you don't know what's going on. Thank you for the super chat, though. And uh, let your cat know that I apologize for um, confusing her. <laughs> oh, God. And thank you, Tofu. Rumi, Fuka, and Gourmet Research Society event when... Oh, my God! <gasps> That would be incredible. I feel like Rumi and Fuka would have a good time together. They'd swap recipes. They'd get to know each other. They'd figure out things. It would be fantastic. Oh, they'd be so good. <laughs> oh, I, I would love for that. I would love for the Gourmet Research Society to show up to Shanghai Jing. I kind of feel like at this point, Rumi is like just willing it into existence with her experiments, right? I think that would be fantastic. And yeah, for those of you who are curious, so YouTube has said that they're less restrictive with swearing, but I'm just not going to chance it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not like I don't swear, but like there's certain words that tend to like, I don't know, the, uh, they're like auto filters are kind of weird about it. <laughs> so just to be safe, um, I figure I'll, I'll do that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I probably could get away with it, but here's the other thing that y'all, here's the dark truth. The real, the real shit about the other reason why I don't uh, use the F word a lot on normal streams. Um, once I start swearing, it can be very difficult to stop. It becomes like a flavoring particle. Like, <laughs> there's there's a word in German, uh, doch. Um, uh, D O C H, and it, it kind of is used as like a an emphasis, essentially. Like you'll throw it in words to add, uh, you'll throw it in sentences to add emphasis to things. Um, the, the 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 F word is kind of that for me, and it just <laughs> I just can't stop. It gets a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It does become a go-to filler word. Oh, so anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank you for the super chat, y'all. <laughs> so basically, you're a sailor, indeed. Sailor Yumi, indeed. <laughs> oh, and thank you, Alex, for the super chat. 
doing drugs underage is illegal. Yep. Yep. No, that's that's no good. That's no good. And also, apparently now we have a, I don't know, like a, an alchemy society, uh, seven prisoner who's trying to start up a black market. That's not good. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Then also, Ginseng is also a move power up in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Have you played any of them? No! Do you know that's horrible? I absolutely adore Pokemon. Um, in recent years, uh, I think they're working their staff way too damn hard because like some of the games that they've put out have just not been properly optimized. Like I haven't played um, Violet or Scarlet because I watched enough like gameplay from other people streaming it and like people reviewing it to be like good god that's in pretty rough shape like i've heard it's playable it's just like i don't know i think game freak needs to uh do better for their poor staff who are having to pump out these games oh, this is no good that's no good y'all um but yeah thank you thank you for the super chat they appreciate it <laughs> I appreciate that very, very much. So, give me one second, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, moving on, moving on. Yep, power to the workers, y'all. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And thank you, Gabriel! In before she used a mafia reference for this scene. Oh, God, here's the thing. I feel like... Oh. It was really, really nice to see, like, <laughs> someone obsessed with kung fu and someone obsessed with, um, <laughs> mafia movies coming together. I do hope, in some universe, that, uh, Nina and Ray can maybe be on better terms with each other, because I feel like they would get along super well. <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry. I had to put someone in timeout because they were sending too many mess- they were spamming the same message. I don't like doing that, but, um, my apologies. Sometimes that happens if someone has copied a message and it just, like, keeps coming in. Um, sometimes internet access, like, uh, causes really weird issues where it will repeat the same message. So just to keep chat clean, I had to put them in timeout. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for folks I had to put in timeout because the same message was coming through. Okay, all right, moving on. More super chats, more super chats. Alrighty. Thank you, Technicolor, for the super chat. Thank you for getting me into this game. You the best, Yumi. <sighs> Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best for sharing this game with me. I'm very, very honored. Like, seriously, this has been so much fun. <laughs> this has been absolutely wonderful. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, or no. I just wanted to say I love your videos and that made me regret skipping the story. No, don't feel bad at all. Honestly, there's a lot of people who just don't have the time. Um, like it can get really busy in life to get through the story. So like, I love doing these streams because like at least you all can like, if you don't have time to go through the story, like we can share stuff together and you can still like know who certain characters are and get excited about them and be able to check out like, Oh, I don't know. It just makes me happy to share this with y'all. So, oh, y'all are very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, no, I'm glad to do the weekend streams whenever I can. It's it's very, very good. <laughs> And speaking of thank you, Gabriel, for the super chat. Not gonna lie, I wish I I wish I had half of Mina's confidence and drip. Right? Like that girl knows what she wants. She knows what <laughs> she she's super confident in in her attire. She's confident in in like how she wants to live her life. It is it is inspirational. <laughs> it is fantastic. Man, that's the thing. This is what I'm saying. Mina and Ray both look fantastic. Like <laughs> they both look absolutely incredible. Oh god. I also aspire to that level of drip. That would be fantastic. <laughs> oh god, thank you Alex for the super chat. Child labor laws are something to take seriously. Indeed. Indeed. I've got some harsh words for Kai. I think that, um, that's not okay to be using children to smuggle drugs out of Shanghai Jing. I think that's kind of unacceptable. <sighs> like, 
I think it's a cute idea that they're trying to have the kids go on errands and stuff, but that just makes me so sad that they were like preying upon, like sending these, these kids who don't know what they're delivering. That's terrible, absolutely terrible. Oh, <sighs> so yeah, anyway, that's no good. No, no good. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Oh my God, I, I, I'm very glad that y'all enjoy listening to me read through the lines. I feel like, I don't know, it can help a lot to like add voices to the characters and like hear what they're actually, I don't know, like add some like more emotion and some more tone to what's going on. I'm really glad that y'all enjoy listening to me read this stuff. <sighs> Y'all flatter me. Y'all are very kind. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gabriel, for the super chat. That's very cool of Kisaki. She's wise. She knows her district well. She knows that her goons will make twisted allegations on anything that poses a threat on her. Uh, so she snuck out. She's very competent. That's the thing. I think I've come to really appreciate Kisaki from this event. Like, she really... I don't know. She really showed that, like, she tries, that she's competent, she wants to be fair, and unfortunately, she has <laughs> inspired her uh, underlings so much that they uh, they want to be cool and gangster like her, and uh, <laughs> they've taken the wrong lesson away from her. It was nice to see Mina be like, you all don't know Kisaki at all. Like, if you think that she would take a bribe or that, like, she would be on board with you doing this, Oh, God. Kisaki is fantastic. That was great. I'm really happy we got to see more of her. That was absolutely wonderful. Oh, and thank you, Punishing Clown Not Auto, for the super chat. Mina, sa omai no tsumi o kaze o kazo eru. Kazo eru. Now it's time to count up your sims. <laughs> time to count your sims, y'all. <laughs> Mina is like the perfect combination of like competent and Shunibyo. It's fantastic. She has checked out so many different mafia films. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. Honestly, I kind of feel like Mina and Pina would be really uh, good friends. Because Pina's also, like from Hyakiyako, she's really obsessed with mobster films. Um, I feel like they would get along very well. I hope they meet at some point. <laughs> They can have a they can have a movie club together. Like Ray and Mina and Pina together. It'd be fantastic. Oh, I think that'd be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Using kids to smuggle contraband. I'm getting Junya Kanashiro Persona 5 vibes here. After how he blackmailed Makoto Nijima and the students of Shujin. Yeah, um. I feel like we do keep coming back to Persona. <laughs> It is a, it is a very fun series. I'm so glad that y'all um, also enjoy Persona 5. Do you know, uh, I have thought about streaming that multiple times, but it's such a long game. Like you're talking like at least, I don't know. Like if I did it quickly, it'd probably be like 80 hours like eight zero and I'd have to do a bunch of grinding off stream. So maybe at some point, maybe at some point, I, I love Persona 5 though. <laughs> the music is all fantastic um, and it'd be super fun. So at some point, I think that would be super cool. But if y'all haven't played it, it's very fun, very enjoyable, um, very fun turn-based uh, RPG and has absolutely incredible music. Oh, the music is very good in that game. <laughs> And thank you, Punishing Clown, again for the super chat. Oh God, yeah, no. Let's let's hope she's not as bad as Beatrice. Oh my God, let's. I I'm a little scared of uh, Kai. I feel like Kai is going to be a force for evil. <laughs> Trying to use children to smuggle drugs. She's she's um not a big. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm keeping an eye on her now. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully she's not nearly that bad. <laughs> and thank you, Kozak Knight, for the super chat. This 
quickly became one of my favorite events since it was less like an event and more like a mini chapter with an untold volume. I completely agree. This, I was so shocked at how much lore was in this. Like main story lore. It's not like the events don't impact the main story, but like this was a lot more of like inner workings of Kivotos than I was expecting. Absolutely incredible. Um, I completely agree. This event was fantastic. God, I'm really glad that we were able to play this, y'all. This was fantastic. Oh, and System Philosophy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Considering her her position and Genryuman, maybe Kisaki could eat food only done after poison. Oh, that's true. She would need a taste tester for poison. It takes time, food gets cold, and it has a bad taste. Oh, but that means that she really trusts Rumi, though. If she, if that is the case, and she actually has to have taste testers, then I don't know. Either way, she's trusting Rumi's judgment a lot for her to actually do stuff. Oh, oh God. I really love that Rumi and Kisaki were childhood friends. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Oh. Oh God. Yeah, and that's the thing. The minor events are, here's the thing. Everything is, all of this is canon, right? It's just some things impact like the main story more than others. Um, but like, man, these last couple events have been like really important. <laughs> like introducing more of the seven prisoners we've gotten to know more characters we've had resolution with some of the millennium students oh it's good absolutely fantastic and some of y'all have sent in some super chats since i started reading these let me go check these out god technicolor thank you for the super chats you sent two of them one of them was blank and it's very kind thank you um and you also just sent one i'm so happy to catch up to you level 62 I think of you every day I log in. I love knowing how to pronounce stuff because of you as well. Yumi, have an amazing day. By the way, how do you pronounce? Um, I think uh, based on the way that uh, like EI is often pronounced in Japanese, um, like if you think about sensei, right? Like sensei, um, the sei at the end is S-E-I. So I was pronouncing it as Reijo um or ray so um that's that's why i was pronouncing it that way <laughs> and it's true ray is a lot better <laughs> ray is a lot easier you can just use that but yeah um that is how i understand that it's pronounced so yeah i'm really glad i know uh, i don't always nail the pronunciation god knows um <laughs> I try my best. I try to look up a bunch of stuff ahead of time um, for like when I do lore archives and things like that. But sometimes uh, in the moment, I'll have to make my best guesses for how something is pronounced. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad that it helps a lot. That makes me very, very happy to hear. Oh, God, y'all are so sweet. Oh, my word. Man, I'm... I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that you all enjoy watching me and listening to me talk about this so much. That is so damn kind of y'all. And yes, peace, oh peace. <laughs> peace, peace, pion, pion. Our beloved, beloved Toki. <laughs> oh my word. So yeah, um... Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. This was so much fun. This is actually perfect timing because in a half an hour, we're gonna be rolling over. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be time for uh, the, the next day in Blue Archive. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be very, very good. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Oh my God, y'all are, y'all are flattering me so much. Good God. <laughs> y'all are very, very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Fried rice pick in 24 hours or we unsubscribe. <laughs> I will do my best. I will do my best for you, Tofu. <laughs> this was such a fun stream. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Um, for those of you who are watching the VOD, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone so much for coming and checking this out. So, oh God, I don't think y'all want me to cook fried rice. Listen. <laughs> Bear is the one who's passionate about cooking. Um, I, I can cook eggs. Um, 
I can make very basic dishes. I need to go on a cooking training arc. I need to learn from Ruby and Fuka. <laughs> I don't make poisonous things like jewelry, but like, uh, it's not great. <laughs> But goodbye, everybody. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Get some rest if it's super late your time. I know it is so late in uh, Japan and Australia and a lot of Southeast Asia right now. So thank you. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. And yeah, look forward to the new schedule. We'll have some more fun stuff coming up. And remember, two weeks, two weeks from now, we're having our main story stream. So um, look forward to that and look forward to more lore archive in the future. It's going to be good. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Be well. Um, go enjoy some fun Kung Fu or Mafia movies if you have any that you you want to enjoy <laughs> in honor of our beloved Shan Jing girls today. <laughs> and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.